We're muted. We're muted. Ruin the intro. God damn. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. You're really not time. It's time for another watch along. I know some of you are going to ask, where's the beard? I just shaved it off. We just we just cut it all off. Maybe it's a midlife crisis. I said it on DR Sports earlier today. Maybe it's a midlife crisis for a mid-table merchant like myself. It will grow back. <laughs> we will be there. We'll be back. Um... But yeah, <laughs> Babyface Ma has entered the building. Big up everybody in the building. Um, Chelsea versus Newcastle. Lineups are coming out soon. So we're going to talk. I think Tyreek George, according to his Instagram for Chelsea, I'm just seeing now, Instagram for Chelsea, guys. Tyreek George is going to be wearing the number 67. He's going to probably, most likely, almost 100% be on the bench. But he is looking like he's going to be involved. Um, we did kind of say in the preview that Poch said that the young nine young players have been training with the first team now over the last couple of days. But we believe it when we see it because we know he said prior before, you know, Washington, um, you know, he's going to be the backup to Jackson and we don't see him. If you don't know who Tyreek George is, he's a winger. Um, very, very exciting winger in the academy. Um, great shot on him. Incredibly powerful shot on him. Incredible ball control. Very exciting player. Um, I guess you could liken him to when maybe Hudson Odoi first burst onto the scene under Maurizio Sarri in a way, but his shot is way better than Hudson Odoi's, that's for sure. Even though, you know, Hudson Odoi was actually scoring bangers in the academy, but I'm hoping Tyreek George's will translate to first team senior football a lot better. But yeah, um, let's see. Let's see if we see him. Let's see if we see him. Um, he won't start, I don't think. Of course, we've got all of our wingers available. Madaweke is there, Sterling is there. Mudrick is there, Palmer's there, so he'll be on the bench. Um, but yeah, looks like he'll be on the bench. Um, no gassing, just telling you what he's good at, what he does in the youth team. Um, Samuel Smith um could be in the squad as well. I'm not sure, but I I'm I'm confident he will be because we don't have any other left back. Like we literally don't have any other left back. So um there's no Chilwell, there's no Cookerell, there's no Levi Colwell who can play there as well. Um, well. Not can, but has played there. Um, so the only guys we could put over there is either Samuel Smith, maybe there's someone else in the academy as well, or it will be um, right footers like Gusto or Gilchrist. Um, and then De Sassi goes right back. Maybe Chalaba goes right back, whatever. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, <laughs> some mad comments. Uh so yeah, let's see what happens. But the teams will be out in about 21 minutes. Make sure you smash up the likes. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Road to 80k. We're on the way. Much appreciated as always. Um, what else is there to deliberate about before kickoff? Um, we know the team injury news situation. I don't know if there's any pretty much quotes that have come out. Actually, there were some extra quotes from Pochettino, wasn't there? Uh BBC Sport, if you compare with the past where you are in a different project, people need to understand. I try to explain. I talk, I move my mouth, but people don't hear. 
Um, again, still going on about the old project um, and old Chelsea kind of correlations and comparisons. Not really interested in any of that, to be honest. Um, anything else? Apparently, this is a big game, and so is the Leicester game. Shock. Uh, <laughs> no surprise there. Uh, kind of ignoring the Thomas Tuchel stuff because I don't want to get my emotions wrapped up into something that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? The fans aren't going to... Oh, yes, the fans aren't going to love a, another coach more than me. It's a new project and people need to understand. So I didn't get to speak about this comment on my preview because this comment came out really, really late last night. And I'd already recorded my preview and it was getting edited. So, But it's not really something that had to be spoken about in the preview. I can speak about it now. So the quote is that's rattled quite a lot of people. And I knew it would. I was on Twitter when it when it got pushed out um, after my recording. And I, and I went in the comments and I said, this is going to rattle a lot of people. Um, so he says, the fans aren't going to love another coach any more than me. In brackets, it's a new project and people need to understand. So I'm going to leave the whole new project people need to understand because he's been saying that for like six, seven weeks on the trot. Um, the whole love thing is a weird one because he knows that the fan base don't love him. He said that already previously. So he's not saying that he's the most loved Chelsea fan, sorry, the most loved Chelsea manager ever because he knows that he's not and he knows that he doesn't have that love. He's already said that. And I think even in the same press conference, he said he hopes that in the future, um, you know, Chelsea fans will appreciate him or like him as much as Eddie Howe is liked at Newcastle. What well, I, I said in the preview, I don't really feel like that's a good comparison because Newcastle came from 20th to Champions League football in 18 months under Eddie Howe. So that love came from that. And I, I don't think he's going to be pulling up such a miracle. I mean, we're not 20th and we're not in the Champions League. So that 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 kind of extremism is not going to happen in his reign um, for him to get that level of love. So that that's why I didn't really even bother going into that too much. That comparison wasn't making any sense. But um, in terms of the love thing, he, I guess the point he's trying to make is no manager in this predicament with this team, with this ownership, with this recruitment strategy, with this whatever, you're not going to love anybody in that situation as much as you love me now. Like no one is going to come in and do a better job in the situation that we're in than I am doing now. I would disagree. I don't think we're performing at our optimum level. I don't think we're, you know, top four, top five with the injuries and the 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 level of upheaval that we have in the squad. But I don't believe we should be behind Wolves and behind, you know, Brighton in the Europa League, who have been very inconsistent this year, etc. There's a middle ground. And I think the middle ground is we should be challenging for a European place. We should be going for that sixth spot um, with one game a week. And we should be, I mean, look how poor Man United have, have been this season. Look how poor even Newcastle were 10th literally a couple of weeks ago. They were behind us. Newcastle were behind us a couple of weeks ago. Um, and now they're well, well clear of us. So, yeah, there's a middle ground, as always. Um, the extremisms, they don't have to be there. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting situation. So that's what he means. I disagree, but that is what he meant by that, just if people didn't um, quite get it. Um, <laughs> the other comment was really, really mad, right? Um, again, I didn't get to see this one either. This one was crazy. I would have brought this up. He says, the players have the permission to talk to the owners if they want um, him replaced. That's what he said, right? This is the quote. He says, you need to ask the players. I don't know who, I, I don't know what the question was because you need to understand these, these answers are after the cameras are off. These answers are the, you know, after the, the press, this is now newspapers. So I don't know who asked the question for him to come out with this comment, but the comment was, you need to ask the players if the players believe that with another coach, they can do better. I'm the first who says, look, Hey, or maybe they can go and talk to the owner or the sporting director, basically to get me sacked and replaced. I don't know what the question was for him to have to defend himself like this to this this level, but that's that's a very um, bitey comment. So I don't know what the question was, but yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's that. Um, and then there was other stuff on the CEO, and he doesn't really like football, care about football. He sees the fans as consumers and customers, and he doesn't. Yeah, I mean. Whatever. We, we, we're we not surprised, are we? Um, so it's a madness, guys. Why is the camera quality doing this again? Why is this happening again, guys? Why is it every time we do a watch along, you guys have to tell me some wild shit is going on. Why is that? Why is that? 
Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna um spamming not allowed. No, um spamming is not ideal. No. <laughs> um is it back now? Yeah. God. I don't know. Um, you lost your beard. <laughs> oh dear. You lost your beard. Um Okay, let's see. Um <laughs> let's go to the comments, what's being said. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's being said in the comments. Um, it's a new project people need to understand. <laughs> you are very cheeky because you don't need to be saying or copying what's said as an Arsenal fan, do you? But you want to do it regardless. Thanks for that super chat. Much appreciated. We didn't hear. We didn't hear the first time. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, bro. <laughs> I look 18. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a madness. You have too many wingers. Stockpiling just destroys talent. This is what I'm so so this is what I'm saying, right? We spoke about this with the Brazilian kid that we were after, the left footer, about the stockpiling the right wing position with Angelo, with Madaweke, with Parma, with um Perez is coming in. Yeah, the Ecuadorian. And people are like, no, we must sign this one. He's the next Endrick. We got to get this one. And then after that, we'll stop. And then people are like, no, actually leave it. Right. Nusa, if you remember, Nusa was another one. Right. When Tottenham were interested in Nusa in January, that was another fear of missing out. We had to go for him as well. Then it turned up on his medicals that he was kind of in a situation that he couldn't, um, you know, provide any guarantees. And our medical situation is a mess. So we moved on from that one. And now... We had um, Williams at Athletic Bilbao. Now, a bit different, very different, because he's played at Athletic Bilbao for many years now. He's got a lot of experience for his age, um, but he hasn't got a clear um, guarantee of goals, right? I'm looking at his, his, his statistics and I'm not seeing any consistent goal output. So this is telling me again that this is a winger that is he's exciting, cool, he's creative, but is he giving us guarantees in terms of numbers probably not does he need developing yes he probably does so it's another player to stockpile in the wing position again even if he's better than Mudrik don't really care because Mudrik is here now we've already overpaid for him and it's just another rotational winger to come in that's not really ready to play at the level required right but people didn't want this because Ty Tyreek George a couple of weeks ago was like actually no we need to just save some space for him we need to like people forget so quickly whether they want to actually give Cobham young players a chance or if they want to stockpile more young players on top of them. They just forget. It's like men in black, the, the, the you know, the stick comes out and just vanish. People will just forget. As soon as a comp is put out there, the, the, the whole plan of, of, of potentially giving a young player like this a chance is just forgotten. We need experience. Nobody can convince me that we need another under 21 player or under 23 player to come in unless they are a captain in a top five league with 200 games under their belt and they're coming in to provide a level immediately, right? Which is basically one of the best youngsters in their position on the planet. Unless you're not talking to me about one of these type of players, then you should be bringing me experience and nothing other than that. There is more than enough young talent, more than enough young players, more than enough players that need um, development, integration, plans, guidance, social tra social media training, social awareness, all of these things that they need that they don't have. There's more than enough of them. I don't need a single one and I'm not going to justify signing another one at all. Um, not even, not even 200, sorry, I didn't mean 200 games, 200 league games, sorry, 200 league games, not 200 games, 200 league games um, is what I meant. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, tired of it. <clears throat> Um, sharp. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I saw, I was watching FCM on Sunday night and I was watching you absolutely drag, <laughs> drag Kevin De Bruyne for being substituted against, um, against Liverpool. You are one hell of, hell of an entertainer, my brother. I'll tell you that now, man. The way you had that show going, I was like, wow, this is a real, this is a real performance. <laughs> this is a real performance right here. 
<laughs> the energy was off the off the charts. So big you up, man. Big you up. Um, <laughs> cams, man. I love cams. <laughs> you just you just have to. You just have, one. Of, I, I I truly will say this now. He's here as well. Even though I'll be arguing with him about who's in more mud, and it probably now is me. I'm not gonna lie. We don't really need to return to that conversation because um, <laughs> it's looking like Ineos at least at least have ambition. We'll see if they actually deliver on it, but I at least have the right mentality, which we clearly right now don't. But this is one of my guys, man. One of my favorites out there. This guy is just unbelievable. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. So what a show that was. If you haven't seen that episode, man, you need to go and check it out, people. It was funny as hell. Um, so yeah, absolutely class act. But yeah, I mean, all eyes on us today. All eyes on us today, man. Um, it's going to be a long day. I don't think it's going to be particularly entertaining. So if you're a neutral coming in now, I just want to warn you before the lineups come nine minutes time. This is not this is not a guaranteed entertaining game. I think you should know that, but I just want to make it clear. It's Newcastle at home, tight stand for a bridge pitch, potentially low block from Newcastle. Even if it's not, um, we're going to potentially struggle to, to, you know, get a grip of the physicality, the, the shithousery that maybe a Bruno Gimaraes will bring and, and Longstaff and Willock either side potentially today in that starting 11 as well. I'm not, I'm not here to sell you any entertainment. It's going to be nerve wracking. It's going to be a close one. Um, we could win, we could lose, we could draw. Those are the possibilities. Any one of them could happen. And I think it's an equal split chance for all of them. Um, maybe when the starting 11s come out, we'll, we'll have a bit more confidence. Um, we might, we might, maybe have a 1% more chance, but uh, this is going to be a really tiring, tiring game. I've just had that feeling since yesterday. Since I since I recorded the preview, I've had that feeling that this is not going to be a very fun, um, fun match at all. It's nothing to do with injuries, nothing to do with anything other than just gut feeling, um, not even form, because we know that we're capable of just randomly putting up a performance out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, really, really... Um, Really, really worried about this game. Don't know what we're going to do. We've got a lot of defensive, you know, unpredictability about us right now. There's Silver coming back from injury. There's Kukurea people. Uh, would you guys start? Let me know in the chat. Would you start Kukurea? Would you start Tiago Silva? Um, and then Chilwell's out. Uh, Leva Colwell's out. So those two out. Then those two come in. Are we going to play them? Are they ready? Is it going to be Gusto? What position is he going to play? Left back, right back? Are we going to see De Sassi at full back? Are we going to see Chalabar at full back? Literally, we just don't know. There's so many unknowns coming into this game. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really, really difficult to navigate this one. And I think Isak is available and starting. I think he's going to be starting, guys. So that's not good. Um, should be Almiron, Isak and Gordon as a front three. We know Joel Linton's not there, um, but they've got other guys there as well. Centre backs looking strong, back fours looking strong. So no Nick Pope, and um, but still most of the team, most of the team there. So yeah, we worry, we worried, we worried, we worried. <laughs> uh, too soon for Kukurea. For me, Kukurea and Silva, I'd leave on the bench. I I don't want to rush people back because if they get injured, then we just go back to square one again. So not that I really. Obviously, I've, I want everybody healthy and fit and available, but I don't live and die with the injuries anymore. I don't, I'm sure you guys are the same. I don't live and die of the injuries. When somebody, when I see somebody gets injured for Chelsea, I'm just like, all right, then normality. This is numb to me now. I, I'm numb to it. I see that we got an extra injury. I just, I just keep it moving. It's not, it's not a, oh damn, it's not a, it's not a crisis. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Someone's back fit. Okay, whatever. It's just an ongoing cycle circus um, of, of injuries and, and players available, unavailable. So I'm not asked. I'm not asked. I'm just like, whatever now. So whoever's available, whoever's available, whoever's not, whoever's not. <laughs> that's it. Um, just tired, man. Tired of, the, of, of it. Can't keep anyone fit for more than three weeks at a time. Um. Right, so let's see. There's a couple of super chats as well. Uh, five minutes, six minutes till lineup drops. It's a new project. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, thank you very much. We saw that one already. <laughs> um, you smoked that Chelsea fan on the overlap. I wasn't trying to smoke anybody. Um, I wasn't trying to smoke any packs. Um, no packs, no potions. Um, I don't smoke. Um, <laughs> I just had to disagree. I just had to disagree. You know, this is serious business we're conducting. Um, this is a, a matter of urgency. This is a matter of 
you know, this is a crisis. We're, we're mid-table back-to-back seasons. It's not something to brush off. It's not something to belittle. It's not something to um, overstep. It's not something to even be delusional about and try to hope for the best. And it's also not a situation that gives any guarantees of improving. And I'm not in the... So I, I said this already last week. I'm not doing this pity party, right? There's Chelsea fans out there that when I go to these platforms, they say, oh, defend us and protect us from the bad people and the media and the evil people. I don't give a shit. Genuinely. I don't care what the media's representation of us is. You know why? Because they've never liked us. When we were winning things under Mourinho, uh, we were winning things under Roman, when we were sanctioned, they, these people already showed you that they don't like you. They already showed you that they want you muddied and they want you liquidated and administrated and they want you in the championship. So why now, when we're shit, are you, are you, are you, are you flustered? I'm not interested in that. Most important thing is addressing our problems being very transparent, open, understanding of our issues so we can admit our faults as a club, right? Then fix them. Because if you don't admit them, you can't fix them. So when I'm on a platform like that, that's a potential for if any of these directors are watching and listening, for me to actually address the issues that are going to change this team, are going to change the, 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 the course or the direction of this club if, if I feel that that's the case, right? I'm not here to, to protect us and to look after us. We spent a billion right? We spent a billion and we're mid-table. Those are the facts. It's not, it's, not, it's not a lie. Nobody lied. That's the facts. Do we have an injury crisis? Yes. Do I really feel sorry for us at this point? No, because it's probably down to incompetence and it's down to our own problems inside the club. It's not unlucky at this point. It's just, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? So that's our, that's our position. That's it. Reality. So we must, we must talk on it. We must. Um, and that's all I was there to do. So I kind of was jealous of him because he is just a Chelsea fan, as he said. And, you know, there, there's two ways to support the club. Many ways, but there's there's two distinct ways. There's either every day you kind of understand or you're following every quote and every presser and every match and every minute and every injury update and you're fixate. And I'm a content creator, so obviously I'm covering absolutely everything that I see or I'm seeing everything that I see and I'll choose what I actually need to make a video on. But I'm seeing everything. And he's probably not. He's not. He's watching the games, enjoying life. Moving on with the with the with the week and and it'll watch each match and then move on. That's like a very that's a very like it's not it's not fake, it's very pure, but it's very like it's very almost childlike. Um, not in a bad way. Like it, it reminds me of my younger self when I was just like, I just watched the game. I didn't care about tactics, I didn't care about who I didn't know who was available, I didn't know what the manager said in the press conference. You know, you just rock up to a match. You just watch the game for what it is and then you walk away and you, you don't really even overthink it or overcomplicate what happened. If you lost, you're sad. If you won, you're happy. If you draw, whatever, and then you move on to the next game. But you, you know when you just don't deep anything more than that? You don't know who the, you know, the consortium is and this guy and the CEO. These are not things that every Chelsea fan knows and not every football fan knows about their club. Some people are just, just watching the game and they just move on. And that is a very... um. I mean, I'm, I'm jealous. I, w I wish, <laughs> I wish, I wish I was that carefree, um, but I'm not, <laughs> unfortunately. So, yeah, man, he's 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 chilling, um, but I'm not. So I, I I must speak on what I know, what I've what I've seen, and what I'm aware of. Um, so yeah, it's a long day. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, it is okay to be casual. This is sport. It's entertainment. You support it. You love it. But it doesn't mean you have to absolutely live and die by it. Like, you know, or you don't have to follow every single minuscule of every moment that's happening. You don't have to do that. Being a casual is, it's just if you're a casual, you're not going to speak on everything with clarity because you don't know. Being a casual is calm. You know, you could be a casual. I've, I'm a casual in boxing. Boxing, I'm a casual, big casual. I don't know nothing about boxing, really. Um, I'll just watch the big fights with the big names. And I'll, I'll enjoy people getting punched up at the heavyweight level where power really means something. And that's it. And I move on. Like, I'm not that guy for, for that sport. So everybody's got sports where they're a bit more casual than others. So it's not it's not no problem. Um, all right. I think the lineups are coming out. Um, I think the lineups are coming out. Last Super Chat here will be, will the FA Cup give Poch another summer window? Uh, personally, I don't think it should. If he wins the FA Cup, I wouldn't mind him just leaving on a high getting Europa League football, getting a trophy and just bowling out. If I don't see improvement on the pitch, if I don't see improvement in the way that he kind of um, articulates the situation and doesn't sound like a mouthpiece for the ups up above, then, yeah, personally, I'd rather just call it quits and, and leave on a good note so things don't get any worse than they are. So, yeah, I don't think FA Cup should save him personally, but um, we'll see. 
we'll see. Like I said, league is bread and butter, and um, that's 38 games. And if 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 that's not good, then that's where we have to look. We can't just be ignoring it for an FA Cup. It's only Champions League you can get away with that. Um, all right, Chelsea lineup's gone out. Petrovic is in goal. Gusto right back to Sassi, Chalaba, Kukurea, Caicedo, Enzo, Gallagher. I thought he was ill. I thought this man was ill. Anyway, to be fair, what is it, illness to Gallagher? Palmer, Jackson, Sterling. So that's the team. Um, I'm going to get this written up now for you guys, and it'll be on screen in a moment. But that is the side. Um, I, thought Gallagher, I thought Gallagher was ill. I thought he was ruled out, but he was... He was definitely ill, and it was definitely on the on the um, injury update from the club. But um, yeah, Kukure is starting, so hopefully he's 100% and we're not taking any risks. But I guess we're going to find out with how he gets through that game. Um, Mudrik is not starting. It's Sterling that starts, yeah. So Sterling doesn't start. I'm sure people are going to be fuming. Um, I personally, yeah, would have liked for him to either start with Mudrik if Gallagher wasn't there, or I would have probably just gone with Mudrik um, and just tried to mix things up a bit because I don't think Sterling's been great at all um, recently. But we'll talk more about it in a minute. Um, and Newcastle, we're going to get to with their team as well. Uh, let me just get it confirmed. What's the Newcastle team? Mm -hmm. My prediction was 1-1. Um, Newcastle got a good team. They're organized. I mean, they've been very inconsistent recently, but if they come correct, then they are a difficult team to play. Of course, they're above us. So, yeah, I just don't see it being a great game, but let's see. Hopefully, we can surprise people today. The, the Newcastle team is exactly how I have it. So, let's get this up on screen. Um, and then I'll get the benches up as well. Smash up the lights, guys. I'm going to run a poll. I'm going to run a poll. Bear with me. Right. Let's get this on screen. Get your comments in on your thoughts on the lineup as well. I'm going to give mine. Now I'm going to read out the comments as always. But that's the team. That's Those are the two 11s there for this game. Okay. And then obviously we've got to do the two benches as well. <clears throat> to Bravka's in goal, Karius is on the bench. Obviously, there's no Pope. So, again, when I see a backup goalkeeper, I wouldn't mind if we could, you know, put them to the test, put them through some, some problems, make them work. We didn't really do that enough in previous times. I think it was um, Callagher. I was very annoyed in the cup final with the lack of um, work that he had to go through in that game. Should have been a lot more active than he was. So yeah, I'd like to I'd like to see us put him under the under the cost. We know that Pope is capable of winning a game for Newcastle or, or, or keeping Newcastle in a game with his level of shot saving. Um, I think we've come up against that quite a few times over the years and and seen the quality that he has. But with Dubravka, listen, he's a backup keeper. We need to we need to put him under some some pressure. Um, let's see. Let's get this Chelsea bench on screen as well. Mm hmm. I think I'm kind of past disappointment with lineups as well. Um, maybe this is me mentally fatiguing towards the end of the season with all of the nonsense that we've watched. Um, and the season's also becoming very dead in terms of there is nothing to play for in the league very soon. If we, I mean, I, I already feel like it's over, but some people are still clinging on, which is fair enough. But if we don't win tonight against a team that is above us, that we're trying to close the gap on, and remember, we can't even move. We're getting to a point now where we can't even move out of 11th tonight. Like, we're in 11th regardless of whether we win, whether we lose, we're in 11th. Like, it's kind of it's kind of incredible that that's the case. So like, we can't even get out of 11th today. Um, and we're over, yeah, so we're over three-point gap to the team ahead. If we don't win, then again, that that stays how it is. That keeps looking how it looks. It's, it's, it's really bad, guys. It's really, really bad. Um... It's really bad. So I don't think we can really even get conference league in the league anymore. So um I'm pretty much I'm pretty much thinking that you know we're, we're basically on the beach. But let's see. Um bench. So I it's tough. It's tough to care about the lineups or get too invested in who's playing and who's not, especially with all the injuries anyway. Like for me, it's 
it's it's tough. Um, this was the first preview I did yesterday where I was not really, not really locked in. We had the Liverpool Cup final. Obviously, I was really locked in for that because that's a cup final. Then the game against Leeds in the cup, that was tough. And I was saying on the watch along, it's almost too soon, but it is a knockout game. So we got to be charged. Um, and then what happened after that? What was the the last game after that? What was the league game we just played? Um, let's see. <sighs> Who did we play, guys? Usually I would just know this in split second, but this is how mad it's getting now. I'm trying to leave this stuff behind me. Of course, Brentford. Yes. How can I forget? <laughs> uh, how can I forget Brentford? Um, so, oh, it's just... You know, you know when Lampard came in, right? And it was the season was done. We know he's not an elite coach. He's not a he's not a great coach. He's not even a very good coach. He's pretty meaty. Um, he did great in his first season, but yeah, he he when he came back and his Everton spell and everything, it's just it's not it's not the level needed. We were just we were coasting after the Real Madrid after we got knocked out in the second leg to Real Madrid. Um, we were coasting. Oh, it's why is it there? Why is it on screen? My bad. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, it, we were coasting, guys. We were really, really coasting. So yeah, it was a long day, and that that end of the season was basically pointless. You know, there was nothing going on, and yeah, it's it's starting to get like that now. I had to make that change. Um, that was from the previous game. It's starting to get like that now, where uh, the games don't really mean much. Um, it's exhausting to watch this team because you know that two things, you know that you're not guaranteed anything in terms of the way we play, in terms of our approach, um, in terms of the level of performance, the quality. So, you know, you're not even in for a good performance. And then on top of that, you know, you're not even going to get consistency with the team because if someone plays well in the back of my mind, I'm thinking they could get injured anyway. And then we don't see them. And that's where it is now. We're getting to a point where we're not even seeing consistencies in the lineup because everybody's just injured and then they come back and then they're rusty. They make individual errors. Then they take four or five games to get back into it. And it's just an ongoing cycle of, of madness. So yeah, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Um, it's now just, hopefully we can see some individuals rise from the ruins and try and navigate a way to having some sort of individual success at the end of the season where they hit some form or they show that they can contribute something to next season. But as a collective, we're not going anywhere um, this season in the league. We're 11th, um, four points off Newcastle. Again, if we lose that, if we lose to Newcastle tonight, um, <laughs> if we lose to Newcastle tonight and we go seven points behind Newcastle and we're 11th and we're five points behind Wolves, who would be 10th, I mean, yeah, it it, it would be. Um, I mean, it, it would be catastrophic. I mean, it's already a crisis. It's already catastrophic. So I don't. I don't have a new word for this. But this is. This is. It's done. I mean, if anybody still thinks maybe, um, maybe we can. Maybe we can um, make conference league. Uh, you'd be done then. You'd be. You'd be very finished. Um, uh, yeah, well, I was, uh, how old was I? I was born in 97. So when Roman came in, I was six years old, seven years old. Um, so I wasn't really watching football, um, at five, four years old. Um, so just to, just to let you know, because I know some, sometimes people will think that, you know, be glory hunting and whatnot, but literally could not have done anything about that <laughs> could not have done anything to change the time I started supporting I, I started supporting when I started watching football which was a normal age um literally couldn't couldn't support any earlier um and it's not like my family supported Chelsea um it was my family really supporting Liverpool actually most of them um so and we didn't we didn't thankfully we didn't go there we didn't we didn't end up over there um so yeah but i would have fell in love i think with that team before roman when people ask that question i always have to make sure that they understand that this was a very very exciting likable um team before roman like some really really good you know signings from abroad 
obviously we had you know the Dennis Wises and 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 you know John Terry's come through next to next to Desai but we we're talking about Viali's we're talking about Zola's we're talking about Rude Hullets we're talking about um Flows we're talking about Hasselbanks we're talking like <laughs> this would have been a really nice team to support like a really nice team to, to now, if, if you're talking about early 90s and late 80s, now obviously that's different. Maybe I maybe I don't end up supporting them. Maybe I end up watching a different team and on the TV in Europe, and maybe I fall in love with that team. I don't know, you know. But that team that I just mentioned, late 90s FA Cup winners, beat Real Madrid Super Cup. That's a really nice team. That's a that's a really nice team. To I actually wish I was born a bit earlier and I started supporting in that era because that's that's a great team to start with, and then you get you know, you kind of get to appreciate maybe where we got to um, with the takeover even more because you know that we didn't have the money and, you know, it would have been even better. Um, so, yeah, <sighs> there's nothing I can do. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Um, I am the age I am. I am the age I am. Um, so, yeah, um, no, my granddad supports Liverpool. Um, my dad supports Liverpool. Um, who else is there? My uncle supports Arsenal. Um, my auntie supports Arsenal. My other uncle supports Tottenham. Um, nobody supports Chelsea that I can think of, no. So I am on my own here. <laughs> I am on my own. Um, all right, cool. Let's see what else is being said. Um, why are you already... Con I'm not conceding loss. I said um, I said we will probably draw. My prediction was 1-1. Um, my prediction was 1-1. So not conceding loss. I'm just conceding that it's not going to be a great game. It's not going to be a great watch. Um, it's probably going to be draining. It's probably going to be difficult. It's probably going to be a long day. We could win. We could lose. We could draw. Um, so, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. I'm not really sure what point you're making. Arsenal were beating teams 5-6-0. For about three, four weeks in a row, and then they struggled against Brentford, but they still beat them, and we didn't. So I'm not really sure the overall point you're trying to make. But we're definitely not making Poch's diff job more difficult. Um, he's making his job difficult by himself with the way that he's articulating the situation we're in. Um, so yeah, don't blame me on YouTube for making Poch's job easy, uh, more difficult. That's that's not really going to work. Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 let's see what else is being said. <laughs> What's, where's your bid? Um, just, just not here. <laughs> just not here. <laughs> Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, they want, I don't know what that rumor is there. I'm just going to, I don't really know what that is. We as Arsenal fans have missed your seafood cuisine. No fish has been on after. <laughs> oh, really? The bigger fish to fry thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you, I, I did mention it after you got dumped out of the FA Cup, but you know, you're still, you're still in the big fish. You're still in the ponds. You're still in the the Champions League and the Premier League, so it's all good. No problem. No problem. Uh, and and also, it's just respect to Newcastle. Like, if 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 you know, you have to respect the teams above us. If you if you can do nothing else at this point, we're in mid March. You know, it's not like as if we're in September or October or November. We're in mid-March. If you don't respect everybody above you at this point and humble yourselves and say, do you know what? It's going to be a tough game and we might not win. Then you're just living in a delusion because we're literally mid. We're, we're, we're 10 wins, 10 defeats, 6 draws. Our goal difference is plus 1. We're still not on 40 points. Newcastle are. They're safe. We're not on 40 points yet. So, you know, if you don't have any respect for the teams ahead of you in, in March when you're 11th, you know, I don't really know what's going on. I really don't. <laughs> I don't really understand how you couldn't be respectful. Um, Newcastle are a good team. They've got good players. Almiron's a problem. Isak's a problem. Gordon, Bruno Gimaraes, good player. Livermento, our former academy product, great player. So there we are. We must be We must be humble. We must be humble. Well, I will. I will be. Um, literally, you can't get any more mid than us. We literally are a 50-50 team. So there's no guarantees in terms of anything. We are 50-50. We win half our games. We lose half the games. We draw the other half. We have a a, 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 a goal difference of, of one, which means we could score. We could concede. We could, like, it's all equal probabil uh, probability. <laughs> so, 
so yeah it's um it's it's not difficult to see how we got here um Miz made a good point if fans are expecting more need to be realistic um when can we be unrealistic when can we expect better um this season's done in terms of the league so next season depending on the window depending on the decisions at the top um trickling down we can assess the team um and then we can go from there but in the league this season it's it's finished there's no consistency coming in the league this season there's no run winning run it's not happening um and it's it's just not happening you know and, that, and that, that's something that i've just accepted now so i'm not going to I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna be too shocked, whatever the result is today. Um we'll see. We can we can win, but we can lose, we can draw. That's why that's what we say. Uh after this game, we've got Arsenal away. Um no, sorry, Arsenal away has been postponed. So we've got Leicester at home on Sunday, which is a massive game in the FA Cup quarterfinals, chance to go to Wembley again, which is absurd. <laughs> Absolutely absurd that we can be in this level of mediocrity and still be again for the second time this season, one game away from Wembley. These cup runs are the only thing keeping me alive. Literally, these cup runs are keeping me alive. I'm like the undertaker. I'm lying on the floor flat. I'm conked out. And every time we get to a cup game, I just wake up. Like I literally just like that. I'm, I'm alive again. So for Leicester, it's a knockout game. It's a chance to go back to Wembley. I haven't learned my lesson. Seventh time's the charm. <laughs> Seventh time. Well, we haven't got to the final, but you know, Wembley again. I'm ready. Take me, take me to Wembley again. I'm ready to get hurt all over again. I'm ready to be in pain all over again. I'm I'm always down for a cup semi-final, cup final um, at Wembley. So I haven't learnt my lesson. But the league is finished. So the next time I'll be awake and active will be on Saturday or Sunday against Leicester. Um, still got a chance to save our season. With a, with a FA Cup win, I'm I'm clinging on for dear life. I'm clinging on. Um, I'm really really clinging on. Uh, Mudded Matisse Mondays needs to be a regular thing. I think I've seen you say this. Did you say this earlier on? I think it was you, wasn't it, LJ LJ Brown? Ah, well, it has been a regular thing all season, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, Clara says, "What sort of treatment is this for Mudrick?" Poch speaks about merit. What exactly is Sterling doing at just? Yeah, because again, this is what I'm talking about with Pochettino. It's just the maths is not mathing. So he said previously that you've got to show consistency. You've got to show, you know, hard work on the pitch. Um, you've got to be committed. You've got to track your runners. Show defensive solidarity with your teammates. And yet he continues to start Sterling on a consistent basis who doesn't track back half of the time. And half is probably putting it lightly. Shows inconsistencies in his game all the time. And yet he keeps starting. What's the logic to it? I don't understand it. Sounds like politics to me. High wage earner. One of the big names in the in the team, in the, in the squad, you know. Highly regarded, highly rated. I don't know. Yeah, sounds like politics. I don't know what's going on. Would you take a loss now for Arsenal to lose tomorrow? No, I will never wish for my team to lose. Um, unless, you know, if, if you're talking about um, maybe if you win a final, something actually meaning meaningful, then yeah. But I'm not going to, not for a second leg uh, round of 16 knockout tie. No, we're not. We're not going to say that. If it was a Champions League final, then, and, and my season's dead anyway, then yeah, you may as well kill two birds with one stone and your 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 sadness can come and join my sadness yes for sure but not not for tomorrow i mean some people some people will probably say yes but i have faith in the champions league to champions league and in the semi-finals or somewhere down the line you will you will hold smoke hopefully fingers crossed so we will we will just wait for the champions league to champions league uh get into form we need that one one draw at the emirates we need to we need to beat Arsenal at the Emirates. How about that? I'd love that instead. You know, no no better way to stop them from doing a madness is to beat them. But um, they're going to be heavy heavy favourites. I'm not, I'm not going to be confident. So let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, do 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 do. Right. <clears throat> do 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 do. Um, the bar's low. The bar's low. Eight goals, three assists this season. Sometimes play striker. Um, Barslow, 
Barslo, this is an acceptable level to now be contributing to your team for 65 million to actually be winning matches like Odegaard, Saka, Martinelli, Jesus have done over the last couple of years. Yes, we're not going to child you. We're not going to treat you like a like a like an infant. Yeah, like you're from nursery. Yes, you should be contributing to your club for that amount of money. Yes, you should score goals as a forward because you're not a midfielder. You're a forward. Um, so yeah, now. Has he won anything? Has he scored in the latter parts of the season that has title deciders, Champions League deciders for you to go through knockout stages? Um, no. Has he already done this tally of eight goals, three assists under Tuchel? Yes. So I will say he's in good form. Credit where it's due. And that's where we draw the line because I'm not going to get caught up in any purple patch and then he drops off again like he has done many times before and then everybody's scrambling and their heads are steaming, and I'm, I'm, I'm here to pick up the pieces. When something significant is done, um, we will talk. And when I say significant, I mean, like, you lift your Arsenal football club. Like, seriously, get a grip. Lift, lift trophies. This is what you are. Your Arsenal. Lift. We're not going to give you credit for pur purple patches. Do you know what I'm saying? This is, this is serious now. Let's let's be very serious. The man cost a lot of money. He's making how much money? Three hundred and twenty k a week. Four goals in four games is good. You make three hundred plus k a week. Um, yeah, let's 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 be serious. Um, so I'm not going to do any cuddling. No, that's not for me to do. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, three hundred seventy-five. Pardon me, pardon me. Lord heavens, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> I'll be the, listen. I have no problem admitting when he's actually you know got me to a point where i have to apologize but i'm not gonna lower that that barometer for for this no we're not gonna no. it's gonna take more than winners against luton and, and brentford to 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 make me apologize after i tell you that for free <laughs> it's gonna take more than that um let's see let's see let's see um yeah, I mean, it, it has to be involved, right? If you earn a lot of money, you should perform. That's how life works. That's how work w works. That's how any job works. The players that are paid the most have to perform at the highest level. The players that are paid 20, 30K, they don't have to. That's why you're paid 20, 30K. If I'm paid 100,000 a year to do a job, or I'm paid 20K a year to do the job, and it's the same job, I'm probably going to do it to a lesser level at 20K. So I don't know why you're running from 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 the expectations. <laughs> Is he not your highest paid player in your squad? Because I don't think anybody else makes that type of money. So I'm guessing he's the highest paid player in your team. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's why Chelsea fans expect a lot from Sterling, and rightly so. Um, because Sterling is making the most money. Lukaku makes the most money. Um, and these people don't deliver consistently, which is why we get onto them. 100%. Edison's out for three, five weeks. Hmm. That's not good. But Ortega's a good player. He's a good goalkeeper. But that's 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 not good. That is, is that going to make a difference, do you think, in the title race? Is that going to make a difference in the title race? Hmm. I don't know. Arsenal do have to go there. So he's going to miss the Arsenal game. He's going to miss the Man City Arsenal game. That's going to be interesting. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the prediction saying? Let's run a poll, actually. We haven't run a poll. Ah, we have to run a poll. We have to run a poll. Let's run a poll. Um, right. We need to run a poll. Why is it not allowing me to scroll down? Why is this even on the screen? Really causing me problems today. Trying to run a poll, people. Um, 
but for some reason this is here. Let's see. Um, oh God, computers. What are you like? Okay, I don't know what is going on today. All right, um, is what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Fair play to you for doing these streams. Reading this chat has me ready to do something I'm going to regret, <laughs> says Ethan. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Big up, Ethan. Um, let's see what's going on on the bench. Um, some youngster is impersonating you on your channel. Oh, funny. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I am looking young today. I'm looking young. I'm also looking like Mr. Potato Head, according to some people as well. Um, all right, cool. Big up Saeed. Saeed in the building, yes? Saeed Television? Is he going to come and tell me that he's very confident we're going to win this game? You tell me lies? Oh, listen, I'm not telling you to, to care how much anybody makes. Of course not. But if you're judging of someone, it's only really um, what you pay them and what you paid for them that you can probably judge them on, to be honest. It's it's only if that's what they've negotiated. Um, that's 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 the what that's what the expectations have to be. Um, let's see. So on our bench, right, we have Silva, Cassidy, Chukwameka. Who's going to come on today and, 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 and give us something? I should have mentioned that Hardy Chico Mecca's on the bench because that's actually big news. We've been wondering where Carney's been for how many months, how many weeks, and Carney Chico Mecca's on the bench. Um, he came back, then he disappeared again, then he came back, then he disappeared again. So he's back. He's on the bench. That's good news. Um, Tariq George is not on the bench, even though people were seeing the number. I mentioned it before the stream. I thought he was going to be involved because we saw that posted by Chelsea, I think it was, right? Um, but yeah, he's not on the bench. At least we don't have two goalkeepers on the bench today. So that's good news. Um, but yeah, kind of surprised that people were saying he's with the squad. And then they post him on socials. And he's not in the squad. Cassidy's there. Chukomeka's there. Mudrick, Washington, Madaweke, Sil uh, Silva, um, Achimpong, and Gilchrist, and Sanchez. I don't know where Tyreek George is. It's not a big deal <laughs> for me because, I, like I said, with Poch, with the whole youngsters and things, I'm just like, I believe it when I see it. But it's kind of strange that we posted that and then he's not in the squad. So I don't really know what the point of that post was. Very strange. Um... All right, cool. So, yeah, not really sure what's going on there. Um, right, apart from that, um, what else? So, I don't. Th is there any outrage? <laughs> kind of did suck a lot of people in. We have to hope that Kukurea doesn't get injured today as well because he's. I don't know if he's been rushed back. We're gonna find out if he's okay. Isak is a danger. He is. He scored against us in the other game away from um, away from home. It was Okachuku and Badia Shil. I think that were out of position. They left a gap, closed down. Miley assist, played the pass in behind the line. Isak was there, finished, um, and then we conceded. So, yeah, need to be very very careful about Isak for sure. Um, that's that's a worry. Somebody's tweeted, Mudrick scores, next game bench, Mudrick scores, next game bench, Mudrick scores, next game bench, Mudrick scores, next game bench. Repeat, 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 repeat. Um, <laughs> um, that's what people are feeling with the Mudrick decision to be on the bench. Um, not happy, some people, not happy. Um, right. Oh, Jackson is also a yellow card away from missing Burnley and Manchester United. So he wouldn't miss the Leicester game. Let me just get this confirmed. If Jackson gets booked today, he misses Burnley and Manchester United matches. 
which are the next two home games after this one. So we've actually got three home games in a row. I don't know when the Arsenal away game is going to get rearranged. I don't know if that's confirmed. But we've got Burnley at home on the 30th. Man United at home on the 4th. If Jackson gets a yellow card today, this is very important information, actually. This is not a joke. Chelsea fans, if Jackson, right, Nicholas Jackson, our only striker, I'm going to say this once, and I'm going to say it twice, and I'm going to say it three times. If Nicholas Jackson, our only striker, picks up a yellow card today, he misses Burnley and Manchester United because this would be the second time he's picked up consecutive bookings and then it's led to a suspension so it's now two games instead of one uh, um so just bear that in mind when watching nicholas jackson today especially when we have no other options apart from washington um crazy very 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 curtain very very worrying that one Um, if you could do a one-game player swap for this match, who would it be? Um, hmm. <sighs> Goalkeeper, right back. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Are you are you saying for take um, Newcastle's player and swap? Yeah, I'm guessing you mean swap. So you're meaning Newcastle. Um, I'd probably swap. I probably pay, I probably take Isak, um, put him up front, put Jackson on the left wing, and then someone else can hold that. I don't really care who it is. I don't really care. So out of Gallagher and Sterling, probably Sterling has to hold that. Um, yeah. So Jackson goes left wing, Isak goes up front. Yeah, I'd like that. That's probably what I'd do. <clears throat> because I know with Isak, he's going to give link up. He's going to give goals. He's going to play with Jackson. They're going to play off each other quite nicely. Um, and I'm going to get the work rate with Jackson on the left wing that Sterling might not give me. So I think every single kind of situation gets improved. So, yeah. And he can score a header um, more likely than probably Jackson can. But he did score a header against, uh, was it Brentford? Was it Brentford? He scored a header. Really good cross from Gusto. Um, so maybe more to come. But, yeah. Um, I don't know what's happening. I mean... Uh, Potcher's taken Madaweke out earlier in the season, then brought him in and played him more, and then he was playing Mudrik, and then he took him out. He's not really giving Mudrik any momentum. I don't like it now because Sterling's not performing. If 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 Sterling was performing, I wouldn't care because I'm just interested in meritocracy. Whoever's performing, you get your opportunities to play, and then you and then we hopefully win games. Um, because you know me, like I'm not I'm not trying to sell um, Mudrik as as some next you know, generational talent. I, I, I don't know if he's going to be the, the guy for us or not. Personally, I, I, I have a very, very big concern about it. Um, I don't I don't think he was worth the money that we paid. But Sterling's not playing well. So I really don't want to see um, Sterling over Mudrick when Sterling's not, not playing well. I don't think that really makes sense for me right now. So, yeah, ideally, I think it would be Mudrick in there, but it is what it is. I'm also not really that emotionally invested into team news right now <laughs> or anymore. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yes, I did see. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. It is wild. I can't lie. De Bruyne does perform in big games, so that was mad. It was a bad day at the office. I thought Endo was brilliant, but to what he was taking it, he was taking it to another level. He was taking it to another place. Oh dear. He's taking it to another level. Um I don't know about daylight saving time, so I'm not really sure if we're meant to be an hour behind or ahead. My 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 cl my clocks and watches just be automatically updating, so even knowing what's going on in that regard, I kind of just I kind of just don't even don't even take any notice anymore because everything just updates itself anyway. So unless you are actually awake watching the time fluctuate, you might actually just miss it and just catch an extra 
extra hour of sleep and not even know why or not even notice <laughs> so yeah um let's see let's see so yeah previous five seasons um I don't think that's necessarily the case. No, um, we're, we're we're doing a lot of revisionism. Um, Kai Havertz was at Chelsea for three years. Was it three years? Four years? Played up front a lot of those years. Wasn't clinical. Didn't take chances. Missed a lot of big chances. I think he actually led one season in the Premier League for big chances missed. Um, never scored more than eight goals in a season. He scored eight goals this season. So again, we're doing too much. Um, this guy's not clinical. I think in the same game, he actually missed quite a big chance, and, you know, went wide of the post. So, yeah, no, <laughs> there's no guarantee that we do anything with him in the team. And Jorginho has been here as well. And I really respect and like Jorginho. I think he was a class act. The only thing about him was his physical limitations, but his mind and his mentality and his leadership was there. Um, and I really always liked him. But you know, we, we we got rid. He went to Arsenal and, yeah, they've got a really good player. But he, he was never going to just not do what he's always done. He's always, The way he's playing at Arsenal, he's always played. He played like that at Chelsea. That's why we won the Champions League with him and, and Kante in the midfield, playing teams off the park. Um, and that's why he was third in the Ballon d'Or listing. People were laughing and mocking, but he had an incredible season in Europe that year. And um, he's, always, he's always had these abilities to play these passes or to, you know, soak up pressure and to be press resistant. I don't know why. It's taken this long for people to to realize that's that's literally how he's always played. He's never he's never done anything that any 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 different. Um, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know what his plan is with Madrid. This is the problem when you have a manager that didn't sign a player as well. So maybe he doesn't have a plan for Madrid. Maybe he doesn't rate Madrid. Um, which is a problem because sometimes managers just don't rate players um, or they don't want the profile of player that they've got in the way that they're trying to play. And because we signed Mudrick before Poch, we're always going to have this problem now with managers where we bought a lot of players before they've been able to co-sign. It's not to say that the manager should be bringing in the players because we know that managers are not scouts and they're not directors and they shouldn't be tasked with recruitment, but it's meant to be they need to co-sign, you know, they need to co-sign. They need to say, okay, thank you. That's, a, that, that's some, someone that I like. I want the profile makes sense for my, what, my, what I'm trying to do. Thank you for finding him. Um, Poch never did that with Mudrick. So we're in a position again where we're asking a manager to, you know, kind of use or play players that he didn't ask for, that he didn't co-sign um, whilst playing a system that he believes in, he can replicate whatever it is, um, whatever way of playing he wants us to play. The profiles, do they match that? And this is what I've always kind of felt with the directors and, and the manager. They're not pulling in the same direction. They're really not. It's quite obvious. You know, like one, on the one hand, yeah, they found some gems. But on the other hand, it's like you're trying to sell players that he values highly. I have no issue with, you know, taking 60 million for Gallagher. You know, I, I think he's a squad player. But, if you're going to do that, you're, you're going against the manager's wishes who rates him really highly and has made him captain and starts him every game. So it doesn't make sense. It's, you're either with the manager or you're not. And there's clearly no correlation between the recruitment and the manager and what he wants and what profiles he needs. So it's just a bit of a mess, to be honest. It's a bit of a mess. Um, but also the manager, if he can't get the best out of Caicedo and Enzo, which I don't really think he can, um, at the moment, he hasn't he hasn't got the best out of them so far. Then those investments are so large, and the Mudrick investment is also very large, that he probably is going to have to hold that. And and that's just life because we need a manager that wants those guys um, can get the best out of those guys because we've already heavily invested in those guys. You can you can play those games with 20, 30 million pound assets because we didn't base our entire financial future around them. But when we've invested a hundred plus million in two midfielders and sixty plus million in a winger, um, we kind of need them to work out. 
So you need to know how to use them. You need to like them, rate them. And if you don't, you're probably going to fall to the wayside. And that's probably what's going to end up happening. Um, big up, man. I saw the vid with Lewis. Um, nice to see him back on your channel. We need to see Anita and Dami link up. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since that's happened. Um, I haven't seen him in ages. I haven't seen Anita since... Um, when was the last time I seen Anita? It was at some event. I can't remember. A long time ago now. Um, so, yeah. No, it would be good. It would be good. Maybe it will be an end of the season thing at this point. Um, but, yeah, it will definitely happen at some point. I haven't got three mics at home, but we'll get a third. <laughs> um, ready to be shameless for today. Oh, today is a long day. There's no shamelessness tonight. Today is a reality check. This is... Um, this is peak. This is long day. <sighs> um, yeah, I'll definitely have Eunice over at some point. Obviously, he's on all you can eat Chelsea, so uh, you know, but we'll definitely have him over at some point. Um, right, let's see. Uh, I am, I am, yeah, 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 on big six. So live review after the watch along because we're going big six at 10 30. So yeah. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. I'm just going through comments, guys. Let's see. Osman. Yeah, I mean, listen, Osman is none of our business. I've said it. I've said it months, months now. None of our business, guys. Of course he wants 300k a week. He, you know, for me, he's not... Um, a sure thing because his overall game there's questions in parts of his game but he's one of the top strikers in the world right now like he's regarded as one of the top strikers um so he's going to demand based on that reputation he's going to demand a lot of money i think 250k is reasonable i think in terms of what he's now marketed to be and what his reputation is um 200 250 when we're not we don't pay that so it's not going to happen. And if he's going to have, if he's going to do a, what uh, Rafinha went to do when he went to Barcelona, if he's going to take a wage cut to come here, um, and when I say wage cut, I mean a wage cut in comparison to what other offers are. If he's going to reject higher offers to come and then fair play. If he's going to come here in our current state, predicament, insecurity, you know, destabilized side, destabilized, you know, board and manager and uncertainty. No Europe. If he's going to come here with less wages on top of that, if he's really going to do all that, then he really must love this club. I'll say that. For, he, uh, he must love this club. If he's going to do all of that, in, inconvenience himself, all of that, then he really does love this club. But I don't see him doing all that. So I don't see him doing all that. Um... Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. <laughs> um, let's see. What channel is it on? Oh, Sky Sports will be on. Yeah, Sky Sports. Yeah, I like Bonnie Face, but. I don't think he's going to be in our range. Like I said, I I, I feel the, the release clause, the release clause guys will be the ones that we probably go to. Um, it will be the Sesco's and Williams was a link. Although one thing I've now, one thing I forgot to check with Williams, because I'm not going to lie, because he was at a flat with Bilbao and he was 21, I didn't think that he would be on a high wage initially. Like that just didn't creep up in my head. You know, I thought he'd be on, Maybe a hundred k, um, you know, but at, at max. But I didn't think Athletic Bilbao were handing out big wages, so I was like, nah, you know, this this guy probably will be on a, you know, a, a wage that is attainable for us. We know what our wage budget is. I didn't think it was going to be wild, but apparently no. <laughs> apparently no. Um, this brother makes quite a bit of money. Um, I think it was in the region of was it one hundred seventy five k a week. Um, 187k a week is it? That's what it says on Google. Um, makes a lot of money. Um, nearly 200,000 a week. So long day. <laughs> Might not even be able to go for him actually now. So wasn't aware of that. A lot of money. So yeah. Um, Nico Williams is a flat with Bill Bowers, highest paid paid player. 
um nearly 200k a week so yeah long day don't think we can afford that one not that i was begging for him anyway so not really too bothered to be honest but yeah that's that's the situation um why did you shave now i've to minimize the tab and listen audio only <laughs> whatever helps you get through the content brother it is not going to be i'm not going to take any offense you don't need to worry all right 15 minutes Uh, let's see if there's any more quotes. Um, any more pre-match stuff? Um, pre-match. Oh, right. Pochettino and Cucurella, Uh He says... Uh, on Kukre and Gonna Gallagher, so he says Mark was on the bench against Brentford and he had a really good week of training. That's why he's involved. It's important to start with him because he's OK. Um, then Conor Gallagher, because we play on Monday, has arrived in very, I'm guessing, good condition and is able to play. Gallagher is not really a concern because it was illness. So, you know, that's not something that can, I don't think that's anything that can keep him out for a long time anyway. Like it's not a muscular injury or anything like that. Um but with Kukurea, we're going to find out. Hopefully he's okay. But yeah, they've said he's okay, so we have to hope he's okay. Um, so George is with the squad, but he's not in the, he's not in the squad. <laughs> I don't really understand um, what's going on there, to be honest. Um, um, so yeah. Right. I think that's everything, guys. Uh, I'd love to be able to put up a poll, but my computer's being stupid. So what can you do? Maybe it will get a grip in a minute, but probably not. All right. We must. No, do you know what? I've gone past the we must. I've gone past the whole we must stuff. The we must bus. I've gone past. I've gone past all that. I think it's kind of it's self-explanatory, but also even if we do, we still didn't, you know, <laughs> even if we must, what did we must? What is the must at this point? Like, this is the problem when you're in mid table, like even the must wins, they don't actually take you anywhere. A win today takes us 11th. I want us to win, but the, the like, what's, what we get, what do we, what do we get from it? We don't, we, we know that we're still going to be inconsistent. We, we know that we're not moving position. We know that we're not, do you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just a mess. It's just a mess guys. Um, But hey. Yeah, hopefully we can win and, and then whatever happens after that happens. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> For the sake... All it is is, is literally it's just gives us a, some breathing space as fans and moving ourselves to the next game. You know, if we win... Um, if we win, then we don't have to worry about what happened today and we can just move on to the next game. <laughs> um, I, when I Googled it, it was Nico. Maybe I'm wrong, but it was Nico, I think. That was the highest paid. Um, unless Google is confused. <clears throat> yeah, it was Nico that I Googled making 200,000 euros as soon as I Google it. What's his brother making? Um, I don't know. Uh, what does it say? Maybe they both make loads. Maybe it's maybe it's both of them just making truckloads. <laughs> I mean, the other brother is there for a very long time, a lot of loyalty. So, you know. Uh, probably, hopefully this week. Yeah, I'd say on Friday. Uh, Friday's a good day. Um, but I will confirm soon. Let's, let's see. Champions League first, and then we go from there. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll give you a day for sure. Um, this day last year, we drew Madrid in the quarterfinals. 
Indeed. Indeed. That's crazy, isn't it? Last this this time last year we were playing Real Madrid. We drew Real Madrid in the quarterfinal. Wow. That's wild. <sighs> mm. Um yeah. No, not for me, brother. Not for me. I've seen enough. It's mid-March now. Personally, I've seen enough. Um, we haven't been in the top seven all season long. Not a single game week. I don't think we've been in the top seven this season. So I'm not going to say that we will be now at the end. Just doesn't um, doesn't add up. But I commend you for staying positive or optimistic. But for me, I've seen enough. And... There's too many injuries happening for any consistency to happen as well. So it's not happening. Um, uh, n n n he might not be fit. So if Carney Chukwemeka, if, if Carney is not fit to start, then you don't start him. That's that's the rule for me. You know, you got to keep people, um, keep people fit now. Stop getting injuries. Stop messing up. Um, you know, stop messing up the careers. And uh, start managing these these players. So we have to we have to be pro we have to it's got to be precaution. Got to take precaution. So I, I would like for him to start. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to see Carney start, but only if Carney's ready. Only if Carney's actually at his best. Otherwise, what are we doing? You know, it's a waste of time. So yeah. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I mean, I don't want to be in the conference league, but we'll take it because this is as good as it's going to get for us, but I don't want it. Like, I don't actually look forward to it or anything, but you know, <clears throat> um, it's not something I'll be aiming for, but Hey, you can only do it. You can only, you can only do what is, you can only play the game that's in front of you. If that game is a conference league game in Belarus, then, then uh, we have to win that game. <laughs> Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Um. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually not nervous. I'm just. I just. I just wasn't looking forward to to the game. Just wasn't looking forward to it. You know. But I'm not nervous. Because I don't really feel like there's many repercussions to the game. Like there's not many consequences. You know, if we win, we don't move. If we lose, we don't move. You know, we're just we're just here in it. So it doesn't really feel like a high stakes game. This is a very low stakes game. Might be a high stakes game for the manager, but for me, it doesn't really. It's not really a high stakes game. You know, so the high stakes game is against Leicester on on Sunday. That's the biggest game of our season so far. Uh, actually, no, sorry. The biggest game of our season was Liverpool and that will remain the biggest game. But our second biggest game will now be Leicester <laughs> in the FA Cup. So the, the, the cup games are the ones. The, the cup games are the, the big games. Um, they're the games that we can win a trophy. We can qualify for Europa League. That's that's where the big games are. Those are the games I'm nervous for. Those are the games that mean something. Those are the games that, you know, that can actually help us. I mean, there's a there's a sponsorship for um, Jordan Kits. I don't know if you guys have seen this news, right? Jordan Kits want Jordan wants to sponsor us for Kits Kit collaboration. They have PSG. They're trying to decide between us and Tottenham, and they want to have us because we're obviously a bigger club than them, um, with a global fan base, um, and we're in London, and they've got a team in Paris, so it makes sense. But they're only going to sponsor us, or they're only going to do the collaboration with us if we make minimum Europa League, which means we have to win the FA Cup if we want to partner with Jordan, right? Um, that's the report. Only way we're going to do that is by winning the FA Cup. So, yeah, it's that's FA Cup is the only thing that can kind of, you know, get our, our, our season to some sort of respectable level. So when it comes down to um, the league, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really nervous. <clears throat> I don't think it's happening. No, I don't. I don't think so. Hmm. 
<laughs> the only reason why I mention it is because like it's another situation where the better you are as a, as a team, like the, the the better you are as a team. Um, why do I care about sponsors? Um, <laughs> my team need money. <laughs> my team, my team need money, bro. Uh, we got a we got a small stadium for our, for the size of our club. Um, we spent a billion. Uh, <laughs> we need money. So yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we need the money. Um, it, the more successful you are as a club, the more money you will make. That's that's just my that's just the way I see it. Like, if you're in more competitions, you make more TV revenue. You negotiate better deals because you're playing more matches because the shirt sleeves and the you know the 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 sponsors are gonna be seen more times. It's much easier to negotiate a deal with the shirt sponsor if you're gonna play sixty games. Or if you're going to play 45 games, you're going to negotiate for a higher deal playing 60 games. If you're any, you know, average level businessman, um, TV revenue, automatically more games, more money. Um, so this whole, I get it. They can make money out of us regardless, but at the same time, be good because otherwise you miss out on deals like Jordan and, you know, stuff like that. So if you're a good team, you're going to make more money. You're going to get more matches, more gate receipts, all this kind of stuff. So more money means you make more money. The more money you make, the more time, the more opportunity you have to make more money. Money makes money. So, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it is for next season. And um, we won't be getting, getting it if we don't win the FA Cup. So that's just how, that's just how that is. I mean, they can put the ticket prices up, but people could also just not go, and then that will balance out. So, you know, there could easily be empty seats next season. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a big rush for everybody to go to Chelsea games um, if if we if we don't improve. So, especially if the prices are going up. So, yeah, prices putting ticket prices up in a small smallish stadium is not not going to save them. Um, it's not going to save them. Let's make sure the time is ready. Um, let's see. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Let's just see how today goes. <laughs> we take it one day at a time around here, people. <laughs> let's just see how today goes. Players are walking out. Take it one day at a time with this club. That's what we have to do. Three minutes to kick off. Um... Sponsors don't roll with failures. Chelsea's no longer a top five team. We now play on a Monday night, guys. We used to be top of the table, Super Sunday team. How they might have fallen. Mm. Saeed not passing the medical for Big Six. Oy vey, what's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, subscribe and smash up the likes for sure, if you haven't already. Um, road to 80k. When's the next emergency? I don't know. Maybe maybe tomorrow morning. <laughs> Who knows? If we lost 5-0 to Newcastle, tomorrow morning probably. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't plan for these things. I don't want to plan for these things. I have no idea. I can't tell you. There's no schedule for emergencies. You don't schedule when you're going to break your leg. You don't schedule when you're going to get shot and have to call an ambulance. There's no schedule for these things. This is just something that happens. Um, so yeah, let's just let's hope that there's no emergency, brother. Oh, it's a strong Newcastle team. Very strong team. There's only Pope missing in that side and maybe Joe Linton in the midfield, and that's about it. I don't really want to count Tonali because eh, he didn't really play enough games.
<laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I'm just, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think we're going to lose 5 0. I'm just saying, you know, if that was to happen, then that would be kind of mad. <laughs> that would be a maz, that would be a mazzoline. You know what I mean? I'll be a mazzoline. Um, so that would be an emergency, but what would we even say? I don't even know at this point. What have we not said already? Um, players are huddling. Um, we are here. I say that I'm not nervous now. And I'm sure now when the game gets started, I'll at least be anxious. But we're going to see. We're going to kick off. Gordon versus Gusto. <clears throat> Come on, the boys. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Come on. Gonna kick off. Anytime. Take your time. Um, we have kicked off. Great. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see how this goes. Another fun fun day. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. I remember when this, this sport used to be fun. <laughs> when it used to be fun. It used to be fun. Chelsea's kicked off against Newcastle. We are here. Please no fake scores because the mods will just block you and we won't be able to see you again. And we don't want that. And I don't want to have to put up the time. <laughs> we don't want to have to turn this to subscriber mode. You must have been subscribed 30 days ago. Come on, man. Don't make me do this shit. <sighs> Behave yourselves. Everybody, grace and decorum now. Grace and decorum, guys. Come on. Work with me. Cook around on the ball. Cook around. How are we getting out? That's going to be a goal kick, is it? Okay. Be very interested to see how Kukurea plays. Hopefully he's at his best. He's got Almiron over there. Almiron's an absolute live wire. Um, he's very, very energetic. Very hard working. Um, and I don't mean that as a disrespect. Like, that's just what... That's just some of his um, traits. But he's... Yeah, he's, he's a handful. He is a proper handful. He plays at a... Crazy high intensity. So, Kukurea. Kukurea just coming off an injury. Um, coming up against a winger that plays at a high intensity like that. It's a recipe for potential problems. Here's Isak. Switches the play. Newcastle have started very well. I'm going to probably speak like a neutral today. I'm going to try and commentate with a calm head. There's no need to be emotionally, no need to be emotionally rattled here. I'm sure we'll be fine. There'll be no cussing today. No swearing. There'll be no cussing. There'll be no nothing, guys. This is going to be a professional. <laughs> Nobody believes me. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to keep our call cool today. I'm not rattled. <laughs> oh. We'll be fine, won't we, guys? <sighs> Newcastle throwing in our half. Like I said in my preview, like I don't really know what to expect because Newcastle can play a low block, can give away possession and just sacrifice possession and um, play two banks of four or, 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 or four and a five and then just leave one up top or, you know, whatever. Um, they can play a nasty game or they can come here and bop us. I don't know what, to, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't think they, like I said, I don't think they respect us enough to not bop us. You know, I don't think they respect us enough to put up a low block. If we were, if we were those guys, then yeah, they would come with a low block and maybe um, park it, which they're more than capable of doing. I've seen them have some serious stink fests, 
but I don't think they respect us enough to do that. So we're probably going to see a very open, expansive, attacking Newcastle team today because they'll they'll bet on themselves here to to open up a gap. They'll be looking to come here to win, open up a gap um, of seven points. I think it will be, and um, yeah, and then obviously they get to kind of confirm potentially the minimum top ten. Here's Kukurau. Sterling. Plays out wide to Palmer. I really wish Gusto overlapped right now. I don't know why it's taking him so long. Palmer clips it in. Livermento. Gusto needs to provide that overlap straight away. It should be automatically instilled in his brain. You know, Palmer's there. Give him the overlap so we can just stretch the pitch here. We don't need to waste time thinking about these things. It should just be automatic, man. Instinctive. Good tackle. Out for a throw. <laughs> I didn't think the shave was going to get this much reaction. I was bored before. <laughs> I'm pretty. Have you guys? Well, maybe you have. Do you know what it is? You haven't seen me without a beard for a while. To be fair, it's probably been a long time. Maybe over a year. I don't know. I didn't think I'd cause this much so, so much shock. <laughs> I didn't think it would be so shocking. But maybe I haven't done it in a while. Maybe I, I think I, I think it's I think it's more that, and I look like a child. Ah, uh, what can you do? Got to keep people on their toes. <laughs> Got to, got to keep everybody on their toes. Palmer switches the play. Gusto. Deflected. Cleared. Palmer. Shot. Jackson. Yes! What a start that is! Come on! I don't know how that got through. I don't know who scored. I don't know who's touched it. I don't give a shit. 1-0. Six minutes in. I don't know where that's come from, but we'll take it. We ain't going to complain. We're going to take it. Don't know how that's gone in. Really don't know how that's gone in. That is insane. That is literally a freak goal. Makes no sense to nobody, bro. It wasn't even a strike with any power, any venom. It wasn't one of those strikes that people look at and think, yeah, that's on its way in. I don't know what's happened there. I'm bewildered. Absolutely dumbfounded. Discombobulated, bro. But we'll take it. Come on. Good start, man. That's a well, so it's a good start. Very good start with the goal. Newcastle have actually played pretty well. So I don't really know what's happened. Oh, it's has, bro, yo, <laughs> it's actually hit Jackson. Jackson's, uh, watch this goal. Look, look, replay, look. <sighs> Little touch from Jackson. Little touch from Jackson. It's it's going to go down as a great goal from Jackson. Uh, Palmer strikes it with his right foot. Little touch from Jackson. And it just, just cushions it towards the goal. Wow. Wow. I mean, uh, that's insane. I don't know if he, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he meant that or if it just hit him because he was in the way. I don't give a damn. I'll take any goal from anybody at any time. We don't, we don't care. Um, we don't care. We'll take it. We will definitely take it. Oh, now they're in our box. Oh, jeez, the tackle Enzo. Um, that's a good. That's a really good start. Hopefully, we can just build on that. I'm kind of shocked. I really can't believe we've actually scored. I'm not going to lie to you. I really cannot believe we've actually taken the lead um, this early. This is this is crazy. This is really mad. Oh, Sterling. Come on. <sighs> Damn. That looked like a really good opportunity to counter, man. I'm so, confu I'm so confused. I can't believe we're leading. The hell? That's crazy. Eight minutes. <sighs> Bruno's aggressive. Yeah, um, who's going to accumulate more fouls today? Is it going to be Caicedo or Bruno? Bruno's going to do it with a hell of a lot more aggression, but should be interesting. Should be interesting. Um, My timer is, yeah, about 10 seconds out, to be fair. 
try and update that. Um, right, let me see if I can just get this. Two inconsistent teams. Let's see what happens. Come on. It's a really poor clearance from um, Newcastle as well. Who is it? Saar? Shah? Really, really poor clearance. You can get no power on it. Here's Livermento. Plays it right side. Amron, Enzo, here's Jackson, Palmer, Sterling. Oh, he's not, you couldn't find him. Good tackle, Caicedo. Come on. Chalabar, here's De Sassi, here's Palmer. Oh, giving away. Ten minutes gone, one nil. Can't really ask for much more at all. It's as good as he gets us. Crazy. <laughs> oh dear. Ball in, cleared, Chalaba. Imagine Chalaba has like a good, strong end to the season at centre back. He, he's literally on the list to leave. Like he's he's one of those guys on the pure profit list. What do you do about? What? It's crazy. What, what what even happens at that point? Come on, Cook Rail. Oh, he's offside anyway. He's offside. Oh dear. Double inconsistency should be interesting. Yeah, ideally we just we just win the game. I'm not even asking us to win um comfortably because I think like I said I've got a lot of respect for Newcastle, they're above us. <laughs> they got a good team, they got good good players. So, I'm not I'm not looking for a comfortable win. I just a win. Uh, any win I'll be happy with. I'll take that. Um ideally not hanging on for our lives or you know some sort of deserving win as well would be would obviously be just a bonus, but a win. Any win. Any win, a deserving win would would be incredible. And just so I don't get cooked um, later on, just so we can just enjoy the rest of the week um, before the Leicester game, have a bit of confidence going into that game because it's a big game. I, that's all I hope for. I don't I don't ask for any more, no more than that. I'm very very simple right now. Very simple, simple man. Happy, I'm an easy man to please right now. I got very very few few hopes, very few uh, questions to to answer. Got to watch out for Livermento today. Looks, do you know what the thing is with Livermento? You got to keep an eye on is that he's coming back to Stamford Bridge now, and he's going to want to prove a point. So we're going to have to keep an eye on Livermento today. I feel like he's he wants to he wants to show us something. Shot straight at Debravka from Palmer. It's still early in the game. Exactly. Exactly. Oh dear. It's a good start from Palmer, though. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to switch. It's not a great ball at all. Gusto, deal with it. Oh, come on. Hooked it wide. 13 minutes gone, 1 0. Oh dear. <clears throat> I know the rivals be wishing. 
I know the rivals be wishing. Praying for Newcastle. Southgate at the match, yeah? <laughs> Thanks for come, becoming a new member, brother, as well. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I'm here to tell you we don't care. I think you've misunderstood. Um, obviously, we want a comfortable win. And obviously, we want a 6-0 battering. But the point is, is I don't expect it and I don't beg for it and I don't like demand it anymore you know we're so inconsistent that any win at this point is 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 appreciated we just drew Brentford like I'm not in the business of expecting us to comfortably beat Newcastle anymore um just just win the game and we move on I'm not expecting any style of play I'm not expecting any of that um it's just not gonna happen it's not gonna happen today if it hasn't happened up until now it's not going to happen with fresh injuries and a couple of new players coming into the starting 11 all this it's just it's i'm not interested in it anymore i'm just trying to get get through get through this season <clears throat> not expecting just to come put together some incredible carpet football <clears throat> Um, yeah, we've been on this case, but I think people have just given up now, bro. You know, I think people are tired. I think people have given up. Um, it's been a long season. It's March. <laughs> um, he doesn't sound like when he speaks that that's the focus of his, you know, he's more trying to defend his his situation and he's more, you know, fighting. Um, it doesn't sound like as if he's telling us to wait on, uh, you know, a certain style that he's trying to implement or anything like that. I've not heard him say that once. Um, I've not heard him say post-match, my style is going to take time to implement. It doesn't sound like something like that's coming anytime soon. So I just, I just disillusioned with it. I'm not really, um, I'm not really too bothered about, about that anymore. <clears throat> And whatever he is trying to put together, he's not going to probably put it together with the inconsistencies with the injuries. So just just, just three points. Go on. Oh, get your shot off. Here's Caicedo. Uh, Tonali. He was overpriced, um, that's for sure. But you, you'd have to hope he would have made some sort of difference. He cost a lot of money. But um wasn't the player that I was thinking they'd go and get, to be honest. I, I, I wanted them to I wanted them to go and get like a Madison. I thought that would have made like a nice like that would have brought a nice um profile to the midfield. A Madison. Um they have a Willock. Box to box, hard worker, a long staff, box to box, hard worker, Joel Linton, box to box, physical, hard worker, um, a creative, more technically sound, you know, tempo setter, footballing genius, someone like that, you know. I thought um I thought they would have gone for someone like that, but <laughs> It's Gordon. It's cutting in. It's going to let it run through. Blocked by Kukurel.
not a bad start at all. Kukura is really, really strong start so far. Um, he's competitive, which is good. That's all I can ask for from Kukura today. I can't, I can't put too much expectation on him. He's only just come back. Just be competitive, stay diligent, and um, concentrated, and stick to the task. I'm not expecting anything crazy, man. But yeah, he's um, and hopefully don't get injured. <laughs> that's the that's 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 important. Cross is going to come in. Nope, cleared. 19 minutes gone. <laughs> bro, I'm so... Bro, I can't believe we're winning either. It's crazy. I'm I'm just buzzing to be winning. Oh, he's not Meg Gallagher, I think. It's not Meg Dim. Cockrell. There we go, Sterling. Come on. Sterling, why can't you why can't you play the pass? There we go. Jackson. Shot. He just doesn't have the power in his strike, does he? He doesn't have the power in his strike, Jackson. He's a shooter, not a finisher. He doesn't have the the technique. It's definitely not a long range shooter. Twenty minutes. Yeah, very tame effort, exactly. Um, no, bro, as a rival, I'm not wishing for a Chelsea loss today. Not sure if that is worse, though. <laughs> that said, really like your content. Keep going. Thank you very much, brother. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, we're, we're not of any relevance to you right now with our position, so I don't really feel like there's any... Apart from just to laugh at my pain, there's not really any need to wish on a bad result for us. We get a lot of them, so you're going to get one at some point. <laughs> you don't need to really wish for it. Save your wishes. Um Surely you must be full now. You've had 10. You know what I mean? Surely you must be full. Save your wishes for your own your own competitions. That's when you need to wish for your team to win. Here's Caicedo. Here's Palmer. Cutting in. Enzo. Oh, my days. Ah, oh, Enzo Fernandez. Cole Palmer's really having fun tonight. He's really, really in his in his bag. Very confident. Good decision making. Yeah. Cole Palmer's Cole Palmer's playing really, really well. He's getting he's 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 off to a really good start. One of the few really big, bright sparks of the season, Cole Palmer. Come in, taking the taken to the team like a duck to water. He's not needed any time. No rehabilitation, no acclimatization, no amortization, just straight into the team and goals and assists and output and leadership almost. Not in a captain way, but in a take responsibility, big moments, pressure penalties way. Um, him and Gusto, actually, our whole right hand side's been, been good, man. Him and Gusto over there. It's been a it's been a good good season for them. They deserve they deserve to be higher in the table. They deserve to play. Those two deserve to play Champions League football next season. Gusto and um, Palmer, Jackson, Enzo, Palmer. Over the top for Jackson. Can he get there? Ah, oh, unlucky. Come on. See if we can get a second goal. I feel like we got to take advantage here. You know, we don't like to sit on any one goal leads, that's for sure. We don't want to do that. Oh, damn. 
<clears throat> yeah, I definitely, I definitely feel like, um, I definitely feel like Enzo can get goals, but it's just, um, I don't know, certain certain shots he seems to struggle with. But then he goes and slaps in a free kick and you're thinking, what, what the hell is that? Like, where'd that come from? Because his, his long-range shooting, for me, has probably been the one thing that I, I hoped would have been a lot better than it is, um, the long-range shooting. Um, but, yeah... I don't know. He's a strange. He's a strange one. He's he's capable. He should be capable. You know, that's kind of. I I would have expected him to be able to do it, um, and to to give us some goals for sure. Not asking for like necessarily a goal scoring midfielder, but you know, you chip in. You definitely chip in and contribute for a couple of season, maybe five, six a season or something in the in the in the league. <clears throat> yeah, Valverde is the same, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting like Bellingham numbers or anything, you know. He's not that type of player. Um, <clears throat> it's just a chip in, contribute. Make it at least a, 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 an option for you to be a threat from, from range, for where the opposition have to respect that... When you're standing outside the box with the ball, the opposition have to close you down and say, Do you know what? This guy could actually do something. <laughs> Caicedo. As I say that, Caicedo just scuffs it wide. But um, yeah, that's 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 kind of what I'd what I'd want. Um let's see. Champions League watch along tomorrow. Yes, yes, we will be there. We will be there. Champions League watch along. We will be there. Arsenal versus Porto and Barcelona versus Napoli. That Barcelona Napoli is looking good, to be honest as well. I think it's one one from the first leg, so it's looking it's looking like a good game. Definitely got definitely got to keep an eye on it. Oh dear. 26 minutes. Come on, boys. We need that second goal, man. We need that second goal. We all know we've watched Chelsea enough. One goal lead is of nothing to us. It's of no use because we know that this team can cave in. So we need the second goal, create a little bit of a buffer. Then I'm going to be asking for some control. If you go 2-0 up, can you keep possession? Can you, you know, tie them out? Start to take control of the game. Start to dictate the game, dictate the tempo. But that second goal should, should you know, give us a buffer and some confidence to go and play with, um, with even more confidence. So, but if it's 1-0, it's nerves and it's edgy and it's the crowd and... They're on edge, then the young players are on edge, and so we need we need the second goal, man. Still got 15 minutes to half time, 20 nearly 20 minutes. Fulham Tottenham. Mm. No, 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 no. I think Man United play Liverpool, which is interesting, but it depends on if we beat Leicester. Because if we didn't or don't beat Leicester, I'm not going to be in the mood for Manchester United Liverpool. <laughs> so, because you know we, we, that's a very important game. I'm, my 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 stress levels are going to be very very high, very very nervous. Even though it's Leicester, I don't want to. Again, people will be like, "Oh, you should be beating Leicester," but. You know, I've I've watched us against lower division teams in the cup, and it's always a struggle. And Leicester top of the championship, so must win, big game, and um, yeah, focusing on that. And then we'll see if the result's good. Then we can maybe look at Man United versus Liverpool after, but not interested in Tottenham versus Fulham at all. Mm. 
og tager trål. Nej, jeg tror. Wow, we're taking a goal kick. Oh, dear. Come on. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go long now. Petrovic is taking it. Sassi, Petrovic, Enzo, Palmer, Enzo, Caicedo. Guys, please don't fuck around. Thank you. Good play, Kukureo. Yes. Good. Kukureo. Oh. oh, my days. Well done, Petrovic. My fucking goalkeeper. My goalkeeper. My number one. He's got his head screwed on, this lad. He's got his head screwed on. Good tackle. <sighs> Come on, guys. Just try and keep this up. Keeping possession at the moment. Newcastle, where they are. Come on, catch him, catch him. Jackson, come on, man, put a foot in. There we go. Ah, fuck. Referee's on it, but... Ah, you don't need to book him for that, man. Come on. Come on. Don't be silly. Yeah, he was late. But it wasn't dangerous or malicious or anything. Definitely doesn't doesn't need a booking for that, Enzo. Come on. Free kick for Newcastle. Um, I haven't really I didn't actually really speak about set pieces too much, which I should have, because that is a big thing for us. Um, that we have to be careful of today. Dan Byrne, Botman, um, Shah, um, Bruno Gimarias, Isak, especially with a goalkeeper that doesn't really at all claim crosses so and we obviously have our own issues um in the air so be very careful on set pieces i think the only guys we got for this is de sassi chalabar um and that's it in terms of and and chalabar in the air i would say is like decent but not like anything particularly special so outside of de sassi it's um it's not great so we need to we need to be mindful of this set piece situation today. It's a very big potential problem. Gordon's going to take this corner. He's gone short. I don't think they've played this corner how they wanted to. So, yeah, they definitely haven't. They've definitely fucked up. Somebody's messed up a pass. Here they come. Oh, I think it's intercepted by a Newcastle player. Oh, come on, guys. Okay. No yellow card, Jackson. Behave yourself. I need you to remember you're on your limit. Can't afford to not have this guy for um for games right now. Can't afford to not have him out. To, not, uh, to have him out at all. Ain't got no other options up there. Sterling's gone to the right, Palmer's gone to the false nine, and Jackson's gone to the left. Um, obviously, before it was Sterling on the left, Palmer on the right, Jackson down the middle. There's been a slight change. I was just waiting to see if that was going to kind of stick, or if it was just them being out of position and just kind of just 
winging it until they can get back into position. But it looks like that's how it's going to be for the for the foreseeable. So Jackson's on the left wing. Palmer's in a false nine, kind of pressing in a two with Gallagher. And Sterling's on the right wing um, at the moment. Let's see what difference it makes to our attack. Gordon escape. Gu yeah. Do you know what? Another detail we've got to keep an eye on. Yeah. Gusto has sent Gordon to the right wing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I was just I was just watching him there tussling with Cooker. I was like, what are you doing over here? You're not meant to be over here. Yeah, this brother switched flanks. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That brother switched flanks. Come on, boys. I think his game might be over. He's asking to come off. So that means who's going to come on? Is Jacob Murphy going to come on or someone like that? Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Gordon comes off injured. He did not pass the gusto test. He did not pass the Mullo gusto test. He has failed his test. Jacob Murphy comes on. Ball in. Oh, that was a little bit fortunate. It's gone over everybody. Mm, yeah, I'm telling you, bruv, them set pieces have got to be... Got to watch those. Um, It's just... Eh, listen, obviously, Palmer's not going to start over Saka at right wing. Foden's obviously in that. Right inside, right little position as well. Potentially Bellingham, like Palmer's got stiff competition, but Gordon's obviously left wing, and Rash Rashford's not had a good season. Grealish's not had a good season. Um, Sterling's not had a good season. So there's there's more chance for him to go into that position than Palmer, who's got you know some of the best players in the league um, fighting with him, Saka, Foden. So, um, but yeah, when like we're talking about Gordon. He's had a good season, don't get me wrong, but um I don't regret us not getting him, you know. I don't I don't regret it. He's not cheap. He wasn't a cheap acquisition for Newcastle. He was quite expensive. So I wouldn't I wouldn't look back on that and say, oh, we should have shelled out 50, 60 million, I think it was Everton wanted from us minimum for Gordon. Um I wouldn't I don't I don't look back at that and think, oh, we should have signed him for 60 million. That would have been a big needle mover. Nah, not really. I don't see it like that. Ball into the box. Oh, these crosses are a problem. Ball in again. The fuck. Oh, shit, guys. I'm telling you, these crosses are a problem, you know. Oh, my days. We are, we are really, really, really fortunate. Oh, my. Yeah, twice now. Twice. Crosses into the box. It's not good. It's not good at all. Be very, very, very aware. It is not good. Oh, dear. Deary me. Sterling's touch. Oh my days, what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Come on, man, keep the ball better than this. Caicedo, oh, he's gone diving in there. 
Just need to get to half time leading. Jesus, Sterling. Sterling, man. He's been booked now. <sighs> yeah, Sterling is um not really showing why we had him in there for Mudrick today. <laughs> You look at what Palmer's done today, and then you look at Sterling, and you look at the ages, and you think, wow, what a difference. One player is so mature in his decision-making, can show efficiency, can dictate a bit, you know, get his foot on the ball, and the other one is just mad. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Doesn't really look up. I think he's offside. His awareness is slacking. Yes, yeah, two completely different players, man. Both played for City, one trained and coached by City in terms of his. His development. Forty minutes. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. The reason why I said Jesus over Sterling is because Jesus is a is a really really good footballer. He might not be a good finisher, <laughs> but he's a really good footballer. And he, if you get goals around him out wide, which is what I would have then obviously wanted because I know Jesus can't get 20 Premier League goals. But him as like a false nine, you know, someone to just play in that in that position and help us create chances um and, and knit things together and obviously get some goals. It would have been a it would have been a good deal. Um and far cheaper on 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 a on a yearly basis because he's not going to be making a 300 plus K a, a year like Sterling. And therefore, he's going to be a lot easier to shift if he didn't work out. So say you put Jesus on 150 or 140, whatever it was. I don't know what he makes at Arsenal. Um, he's younger. He's you know he's a very good player. If it doesn't work out, you can still move him on. There'll be loads of suitors. Whereas with Sterling, um, high risk because high wages. He's getting older. And I think he's already peaked. And I felt like that when he left because he's been playing since 17. So his late 20s is not... A regular man's late 20s um because he started at 16 17 at liverpool so and yeah it's very difficult to shift because of the wages man so just so much more risk in that deal and um and also i think jesus naturally probably has more motivation because he's not been a main stay in a, in a top team so he's probably trying to prove that he can do that whereas sterling what does he need to prove oh my god we've just conceded Oh, what a goal. I just watched it walk in. I watched the ball just walk itself in, man. What a goal that was. That is why I said Isak would be my swap. What a fucking finish that is. What a cold, cold-blooded individual he is. I've just... You know me, I like to have a little waffle sometimes. I was just in my own domain and I just... I see this, I see this guy pick up the ball... And I'm just like, don't you dare. And he just, sh oh, God. He just, uh, he just, he just shifts the ball. And this is what I'm talking about, shooting technique. Because as much as I I, I give a lot of, you know, I, I give a lot of defense to Jackson. This is how you strike a ball. If you got something to learn, watch this. This is how you strike a football, bruv, from distance. He's passed it into the bottom corner. He's absolutely placed it, passed it precisely. He's, he's, ah, uh, if he wasn't injury prone, ah, uh, that's the only thing holding this, this guy back. If he was not injury prone, 
oh, I'm not even I'm not even gonna tell I'm not even gonna say he'd be one of my you know one of my main striker targets because that that's automatically going without saying. But I, also, I just don't think that you can automatically take Newcastle's best players because you know they got their own ambitions. But fuck me, man, what a player! What a player he could be without injuries, man. He's so good. He scored against us in the home game. We spoke about it before the match. He, he just shifted it little yard, and this is this is the equivalent of making something out of nothing. You know, it's not you're not expected to score, but this guy just shifts the ball and just bends it into the far corner. It's such a good strike. And I think Petrovic maybe he's blindsided because he's just he's used the defender to just oh he's just he's just yeah it's long long day. I don't even know who's at fault. I'm I'm, I'm gonna watch it on the replay. I just watched. I was only watching Isak. I wasn't watching all the all the foolishness around it. I just watched Isak and what a finish. I was just watching him and only him, bruv. That was a he is him moment. <sighs> that is how that's how you strike a ball. That is how you strike a ball, man. What a what a talent. Here's Kaiseido. Fuck's sake. I was just saying, can we just get to half time? Jackson, hey. Jackson, I'll get it under control. Come on, finish. Finish. Yes. Yeah. No. What? What's the problem? He's offside. He's offside course and he's not slightly offside he's well offside he's comfortably offside oh dear lord I'm ready for half time now. I'm ready. Oh dear. I was in I was in I was limbs. I was literally ready for limbs. <laughs> I was ready for limbs. I was like, yeah, Jackson, you clap back. You clap back on Isaac. Yeah. I was ready for the limbs. Oh my days. That brother sold me a dream. That brother sold me a damn dream. Oh my days, I was ready. I was going to kick off, bruv. I was going to kick off. <laughs> that clap back would have been re really, really nice. Would have been nice. Oh, dearie me. Why do I have hope in my heart? What is the point? They just called him Speed in the chat. They said he's ISO. <laughs> they're calling him ISO Jackson, bro. This is what this is what they're doing. Uh, Gallagher. We're gonna start. We're gonna you, you're gonna start calling him ISO Action. Action Jackson. We're gonna start calling him ISO Action if he keeps being offside. Uh, dearie me. Um, couple minutes to half time. Mm. It's a lot of pain in my soul. Is this going to be one of those closely fought, closely fought matches that we see the wrong side of? Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a tackle, this sassy. What a tackle. Goal saving challenge. What a ball. Look at this. Perfectly timed run. And it's just taken the whole defense out because Gusto is playing him on. Slightly sleeping. On the offside trap. Could have been 2-1. Then I would have been in a really bad mood.
Jackson one, Isak one. Here's Gusto. Go on. Give me delivery. Give me delivery. Give me delivery. Oh. Blocked. Palmer. Cole Palmer. Such a good game from him. Gusto. Okay. What you got for me? Do you have something for me? <sighs> half time, is it? Yeah, half time. Oh, brother. Oh, God, we just couldn't quite make it to half time, could we? It would be typical for us to draw this game and make it 10 wins, 7 draws, and 10 defeats just to keep everything balanced, keep everything equal. Mm. Let me just take my glasses off because... These men are giving me migraine. Oh my god. It's going to be a long day, isn't it? The reason why I say this is every time we have half time, the team come out worse recently with Poch. I don't know if his team talks or not. Hitting. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about half time, but half time doesn't usually do us any favors. Half time usually means when we come back out, we're going to be stinky. So that goal late on in the half gives um, Newcastle a bit of momentum, some confidence, and then they come in the second half and, you know, upbeat. We need to match that. Half time, 1-1. One, one. Let me stop the timer. Let's go through some statistics. <laughs> you're saying you, you, you're you sure you've watched this half, the second half, about 30 times already. Yeah, I feel like I'm about to see something I've seen enough times. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. Very, very, very disappointing. I want to see that goal again and look at it from now a critical standpoint. Because when I've watched it, I've watched it from a, you know, admiring of the talent and, and the quality of Isak. But I want to see it from a Chelsea defensive standpoint because I'm sure somebody must be cussed. Um, finish from Isak was just cold, just injury prone. Indeed. Indeed, bro. Um, let's be honest, without Pep, Sterling is mid. <sighs> Credit to Sterling, because, you know, if he was shocking, he would never have stayed at City. Pep had no problem discarding Claudio Bravo and players like that. So I'm not going to call him mid. But what I am going to say is that he was um, he was really good at understanding a system, a, a role, and not being a main character and just doing his part and his job for the team. Now he's in a team where he has to lead. He has to lead by example. He has to do more than, than, than just play a role. He has to play multiple roles. He has to be the finisher. He has to be the creator. And that's what I expect because of the money he's making and, and the reputation that he comes with. But he's not able to stand up and, and play to this level. Um, he's not consistent enough in his game. He's not consistent enough with his decision-making. He's not consistent enough with his finishing. Um, he is not capable of leading an attack. Simple. He is a, he is a, he is a side side man in an attack he is a um you know he is a a player that you put in a in a great team with great players and he can play a role and 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 a, you know he can he can do a job but to ask him to carry an attack or teach others no no this is not his bag <sighs> right let's see um Mixed, 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 mixed performance. Um, mixed performance. <sighs> Sterling, not good. Palmer, very good. Um, very, very good. Palmer's been really good. Um, not really happy with um, Enzo, to be honest. I think he could do a lot more. Don't really see 
the quality that I'm looking for from him. Um, but at the same time, I think Kukurez done decent today, considering his circumstances coming into the match. Obviously, Gusto has made Gordon go over to the other flank and then he's come off injured. Um, it's 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 a bit of a mess. It's a bit of a mess. There's 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 some players performing, there's some players that could do much, much better. Sterling for me would definitely come off for Madrid. Um for sure. 100 percent I think we all kind of wanted Madrid to start this game anyway. Enzo, I, listen, I, there is no other option in midfield. Um, you know, there is no other option in midfield. So I wouldn't I wouldn't take him out, but I would ask him to level up, you know, less less we need more in the second half. We need more. But when it comes down to Sterling, we actually have options. We've got wingers. Wingers are there. We've got loads of wingers there. Um, I don't know if Kani Chukomeka is ready to play. So I'm not going to say that just bring him on. And he's also not a, a, a double pivot midfielder. He's not, a, he's not a pivot midfielder at all. So he's got to play in the 10. That's where Gallagher is right now. Um, and I'm not sure if Gallagher being that deep is, is a good, good idea. Um, but yeah, I think because we've got so many wingers available, I would say that Sterling is just really easy to just just take off. He's not really providing anything. Um, it's easy to bring on Madoweke, Mudrik, um, either of those two guys. I'd probably slightly favour Mudrik and just keep Palmer on the right, keep the balance and see what he does. Give him 45 minutes to to try and make an impact. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a long day. Um, right, let me refresh. Let me refresh. Right, so Enzo statistics in that game from a dual standpoint. Okay, three, three, four ground deals, one, one aerial, but the passing could be a lot better. The passing could be a lot better. The long passing attempt, one, zero completed. Um, yeah, just not really affecting the game at all. Just by bystander, I'd say, out there. Pretty much a bystander. Caicedo is is kind of on there on his own at the moment. He's put a foot in. He's he's tried to get amongst it. He needs help. He needs help. He needs help. We need to we need to see more. Cassidy where yeah, Cass Cassidy's on the bench to be fair. Cassidy's on the bench. Um don't think I'd bring him on necessarily right now at halftime. I'd probably say no to that. But let's see. <sighs> Caicedo's passing accuracy is, yeah. I mean, it's what, 17 out of 19. Yeah, 17 out of 19. Enzo's is not great. Hmm. Which comment? Mm, let me see if I can find it. I can't even see the comment, guys. I don't know where it is. <sighs> I don't know what the atmosphere is like at Stanford Bridge either. No idea. Build up plays whack. Hmm. No, I don't know if Carney Chukomeka, I don't know if he can do 45 minutes. I don't know if he could do 45 minutes. So I can't say that he, he can come on right now. I know Mudrick can play. So that's why I'm saying Mudrick is just an easy deal to get done on right. Just bring him on. 45 minutes. There's your opportunity again. Um, Sterling, like I said, is not is not providing anything really out, out on that left hand side. It's not it's not been it's not been great. Let's see. Uh 
Um, atmosphere is horrendous, someone's saying. It's not an expectation, but it's an opportunity, like I said. It would have been nice if he was starting. It would have been nice. I had him starting in my team in the preview. So, don't complain. <laughs> uh, what would you rather have now? £10 million or Chelsea go to the top half of the table? What kind of silly question is this, brother? What kind of question is this? Seriously. Seriously. Do you think I rate top half? Of course. I'll take the 10 mil. What kind of silly question is this? Uh, when do you see Chelsea con contending? Also, you look fresh. Thank you, brother. Um, no idea. Earliest 25, 20, 26. Um, because we won't contend next year. If you're talking about contending for titles, which is what I'm interested in, right? It's not going to happen 24, 25. So the, the hope, the best hope right now is 25, 26. Um, if everything is done perfectly up until that point and things go a little bit our way as well. But that's me being super optimistic. Um, so, yeah. World Club Championship this summer for you. Is it this? Is it? I don't think it's this season. Um, being neutral, ask Michael Oliver. He supports UAE. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mm, this is a very... You know what it is? It's again conceding right before half time. Alarm bells are going off in my head that we're gonna we're gonna come out in the second half and do some foolishness. That's 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 how I feel. I feel like the second half, some foolishness is gonna happen. Enzo was brilliant under Potter because he used him well. Enzo is a deep line playmaker who can shoot free kicks, not an attack minded midfielder. Let me take a look at his average position today. It's pretty deep. Not going to lie. This isn't the game. This isn't the game where I'm looking at um, Enzo's position as a, as a big thing, as a problem. Um, I've seen games where Enzo's played 10. I've seen games where Enzo's played second striker. This is not one of those games. Enzo's been playing in his position today. Again, we had a long time to prepare. What exactly does Poch do with this team every week? Second half syndrome, I predicted a 2-1 loss. Chelsea, please prove me wrong. I don't know what to expect second half. Well, I, I have a gut feeling of what I'm going to see, but I'm trying to remain optimistic. Right now, we're very highly reliant on that right-hand side. It's going to have to be Palmer and Gusto or bust. That's, that's, that's how I see it right now. But Very, very draining. Oh, I just want to just get to the end. Just get to the end, guys. That's all I want. Just get to the end. And and can I just say as well, the cross is coming into the box. Because I don't want us to forget about that. We know, as I, I, I should have mentioned it earlier, but we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. Those crosses coming in are a problem. They've had some very near misses in that half. Yeah. We've had some very near misses in that half with crosses coming into the box. And I don't think it's the end of it. I really don't think that's the end of it. We need to be really on our P's and Q's with these crosses because... 
it's it's a problem and we don't look like we can cope with it. We really don't look like we can cope with it, cope with it at all. I don't know what substitutions he's going to make. Like I said, for me, half time, I'm bringing Mudrik on for Sterling immediately. And then after that, it's a conversation as to if people are ready, what can we do? Do you want to see Gallagher deeper next to next to Caicedo or whatever? But right now, like that's just for me a gimme. That's a that's a simple, simple one to do. I don't think Kukurea came on against Brentford. I know um, Poch said that he was involved. He he didn't actually come on um, against Brentford. I don't know if he's forgotten or he didn't mean to play. He just meant in the squad. I don't know. Um, but yeah, strange. <sighs> very, 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 very long. Very, very long, people. True. You can you can usually tell first ten minutes of the second half with us what what kind of foolishness is going to potentially happen, what's going to occur. I didn't actually get a replay. All right, let's just get to the second half. The quicker this game ends, the better. To be honest, we've kicked off. So quicker this game ends, the better, bro. Let's just let's just see what the second half is going to bring. I don't think he's made any changes. Chalabar. Oh my God, Petrovic, you're so lucky. Jesus. That pass was way too close, man. Big risks. Enzo. Gusto. Palmer. Caicedo. Enzo. Gallagher. Enzo, oh, guys, 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 guys. Oh, here we are now. Isak. Shot saved by Petrovic out for a corner. Forty seven minutes gone. Ball's gonna come into the box. Set piece. Thank God they went short. Oh, they've crossed it in now. Oh my bruv. Do you see what I mean with these crosses? What is going on with these crosses? Every single time a cross comes in, it just doesn't look right for us. People are just people are praying. People are praying when they, they just stand there and they just hope that things are going to work out. So fortunate. Nobody wants to take control, make the clearance, handle the situation. It's just ball across the box and let's just hope nobody touches it. 
and then it just goes goes through everybody. Oh, brother! Every time I see a corner, bro, this is this is how I feel, bro. That's literally what it is. Every time. Every single time. <sighs> Just nasty, bro. 48 minutes gone. Brother, ugh, bro. That's all it is. Every time. <laughs> oh dear Ronaldo's just missed an absolute sitter today as well one of the biggest misses of his career I've never seen something like this that's mad alright we've got a free kick now the amount of wrinkles I'm going to have on my forehead by the end of this game is crazy here's Gusto The sassy. Why is the sassy at right back now? Why is the sassy even in that position? Seriously. Why is he standing there? I don't understand. Gallagher. Oh, fucking hell. It's just playing hot potato football now. Hot potato football. Smashing it, blasting it out of Mandem's chests and thinking attacks are going to stick. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good play from Kim Rice. Enzo wins it. Caicedo. Jackson. Caicedo. Palmer. Palmer. Please. Ball in. Oh, why is nobody on the end of it? Why is nobody on the end of that ball? Oh, my days. It's ridiculous. Somebody's got to get on the end of that and get a touch. It's ridiculous. Happens so often. How many times does a ball go across the box and nobody nobody touches it? Nobody's on the end of it. Tiring. That's been happening for years since Reese James was 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 putting in crosses. Here's Gusto. Well done. Good inception. Come on. Gusto on the ball. Here's Jackson. Now Palmer. Put on his right. Oh, intercepted. Game feels really open right now. <sighs> Game's gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lose touch. The sassy Petrovic, come on. This is like League Two now. Come on. Get the ball back on the ground. 
Loads of space on the left. Knew they'd pick him out. Look now. Almiron. Oh. It's a different type of threat now. Left footer on that left wing. Murphy on the right. Here's Gusto. Palmer. Look at Jackson. Yes. Sterling. Look at Jackson. Okay, you're going alone. Oh, shit shot. Oh. We are so average. You just, you watch the way, right, that Man City play, Arsenal play, Liverpool, and you think, rah. And then you come and watch us and you think, wow. The drop off is insane. Like it's it's mad. It's actually mad when you watch the difference between the seat when, when you watch the difference between the top three teams and you watch us and like the fluidity that they have, the way that they pass the ball, perfectly weighted, it's crisp. Every pass has a purpose, it leads to another. Everybody's in sync. And then you watch us, and it's just like it's just disgusting. It's an atrocity. That's what it is. No tempo in our play. There's no nothing. It's just, oh, it's so bland. It is like watching a different league. It is. Genuinely, I'm not even trying to be dramatic. It's like watching a different league. It really is. You wouldn't think we play the same sport. Here's Sterling. Gallagher. Even that pass there, just fucking behind Gusto. And now he has to come out, turn, waste time. Right, into Gallagher. Fucking hell. Palmer. Caicedo. Gallagher puts the ball in, headed away. Palmer, 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 man, come on. Seriously. Wake up. Gusto. Jesus, where is this man going, bro? Oh, my God, he's going on a hazard run. Here's the sassy now, Palmer. Any movement in front of Palmer? Anybody? Enzo? Movement is so shit. I'm watching the movement. There's nothing there. Everybody just jogging around. No movement. Imagine Enzo gets the ball and there's no run being made. Now Gallagher. Still no run. Still no movement. Look, watch. Just watch. Watch the lack of movement. I'm going to just watch the movement in front of the players with the ball. Gusto. And then, of course, now when we're out wide, we're just going to cross it in, even though nobody's capable of heading the ball. No. When the ball, when we have the ball in the middle... No movement in front. No runs being made so we can clip it over the top. Little dinky passes, nothing. It's just everybody just standing there looking at each other, looking at the ball, thinking, what next? Thank fuck for Palmer, man. Individual brilliance. That's all we got, bro. Thank fuck. Jesus. This is what we're living off. Shiver me fucking timbers, bro. Shiver me fucking timbers. This is what we're eating. This is how we survive, bro. Oh, my days. Thank God for Cole Palmer's individual. Individual brilliance, bruv. Look at his head. His, his, his neck is red, bruv. He's stressed. <sighs> Lord, just end the game. I'll take that now. Just end the game. Finish the game. It's over. Enzo with the assist. Enzo Fernandez with the assist. They wanted him substituted. They wanted him taken off at half time. Enzo Fernandez, assist, shush. <laughs> oh, dear. But you can still take Sterling off, though. Sterling can still come off. <sighs> uh, bruv, end the game. 100% end the game. If you could end the game now, I would shake your hand and take, take the end the game, bruv. 100% end the game. And that's, you know, Cole Palmer, even though he just gave the ball away about a couple of minutes ago, he deserves that. He's played really well today. He's the one player in that front line that is really trying to create something out of nothing. He deserves that goal, man. He's had a really good game.
fucking Newcastle in attack now. Watch this. Hey, don't don't give up this lead now. You literally just scored. You literally just scored. <sighs> My God. Scraps, man. We eating grains of rice under the door frame, bro. Come on. Sterling? Oh my God, it's blocked. Are you taking a piss? Are we taking a piss? What, what happened? Great, great flick on from Jackson, yeah? Brilliant flick on. Sterling's got it under control. It's gone around the keeper. He shot straight at the defenders. That man will never pass a chance like that. He will never pass to anyone. It will never happen. <laughs> he will never pass in a moment like that. Don't be so silly. One of the most frustrating footballers I've ever watched at Chelsea Football Club is Raheem Sterling. One of the most frustrating players ever. <laughs> Who could he have passed you? Palmer. We knew he wasn't going to. And you need to bag that. Like, you got to pick a corner and you got to go low or you got to go high. And this brother's shot in the middle of the goal. Yeah. And then, of, then Palmer can walk it in, but that's never going to happen. He doesn't do that. He doesn't think. When he's in those positions, he doesn't think. All he's thinking about is I need to be Chelsea's top scorer this season because that's what I said in pre-season. That's why he keeps taking all these shots. He must have a goal bonus or some shit. There must be some sort of goal bonus because I, I don't understand some of the decisions this season, 2v1s, 3v1s, he doesn't pass. He must have some sort of goal bonus. It's mad. Took me two weeks to forgive him after the Wolves away game, bro. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, bro. <sighs> Could have just squared it. Petrovic. Remember, everybody else won this weekend. Nobody else caught an L. So it's only us, bruv. Everybody's everybody's looking for their for their laugh. Everybody's looking for their laugh. Sixty two minutes. We need to win the game. Need to win the damn game. <laughs> yeah. Got under AGT skin pretty well today. <laughs> oh, so funny. 
That was funny. <laughs> what can I say? I've got nothing left, so I may as well bring violence. Burn. Intercepted. Right, get a grip. Come on. Come on. Oh, why is there so much time left in this game? Why is there so much time left in this game? <laughs> Manda am saying I'm chewing like Alex Ferguson. <laughs> oh, you man, I'm mad. Out wide. Newcastle. Oh my god. Cut back. Thank you, Caicedo. Thank you, Caicedo. Thank you, Caicedo. He's made some important challenges today. That was another important one, man. They were looking for the cutback. Really good challenge. Man is aware. <sighs> When are we going to get a substitution? Poch, 65. Is that the, is that, is that going to be the sub now? Time for a sub? <sighs> 65 minutes. Do I think he's going to go to the Euros? If I'm predicting, I don't think he will. No, I don't think he's he's going to take an. Um, I don't think he's going to take Palmer. But hopefully he does. But I don't think he will. We need to score again, hundred percent. We can't be doing these one goal leads. We can't be doing this one goal lead shit. It doesn't work for us. We know that. We saw that in the first half, and we could see it in the second. We need to get... A, this is why I'm so annoyed with Sterling because if he makes that 3-1, I'm not saying we've won the game, but we've got that buffer now. And now it's about the manager's ability to control, the team's ability to control, the substitutions to lock things down or to, you know, not necessarily park it, but, you know, make sure that we don't put ourselves in any sort of jeopardy. But that that now shifts shifts onto, onto him. Is that another header from a free kick? These free kicks. We need to either stop conceding them or learn how to defend the crosses. Oh boy. Oh boy. Eddie Howe's going to make subs. I think he's got an injury to Dan Byrne, is it? I think Dan Byrne's maybe going to have to come off, guys. Big up everybody in the building, man. Make sure you smash up the likes. Make sure you subscribe. It's been a very stressful, stressful watch along. Honest, honestly. Um, I really actually feel um, my face... I can feel the frowns. I can feel my face cracking. It's mad. I can feel the fractures in my face, bro. It's very stressful. I can feel it. I feel like I need to see the sun. You know? I can feel the, the, the stress. It's not good. It's not good at all. 
my face my face should be at peace i need to rest Sixty-eight. Still no subs. Arm runs coming off. On comes Anderson, and Kraft comes on for Burn. A f should should be weakening their team now. Those two, but I don't know. Let's see. Madrid looks like he's coming on. Mudrick is looking like he's coming on. Hopefully he comes on soon. And hopefully it's for, for Sterling and not for Jackson or some shit and then start playing with no striker. Because I think, oh my God, it's looked the wrong way. Is that another player down again? What's going on? Newcastle just having bare injuries. Who's this? Uh, bad players getting injured. Sterling off. Bro, that's it. I've had enough. 70 minutes of that. I said at half time. I was ready for him to come off at half time. Enzo, not so much. Then he gets an assist. But this brother here, I was ready for him to come off on 45. It's crazy he's taking this long. Not being good. Causing me great pain, great sorrow, great stress. Been waiting for that sub. Ridiculous. Ridiculous is taking this long. I don't know what that man's been waiting for, but he woke up eventually. Petrovic got booked for taking too long, yeah? Oh, boy. Come on. Let's get this cleared. Need the third goal badly. Now, Mudrik. What can he give us? Enzo. Good pass. Mudrick, Jackson, Mudrick, into Jackson, lovely, immediately given something, Palmer, ah, oh, Palmer, Palmer, Enzo, get that, get that, oh my god, Caicedo, good tackle, good tackle, Caicedo, if you, what, he got the ball, it's up, did he not get the ball? Why am I bugging? I swear he got the ball. Let me get a replay. Maybe I'm bugging. I thought he got the ball. Enzo obviously definitely didn't. Oh, you know, he didn't. He didn't get the ball. <laughs> that brother did not get the ball. Yeah, he missed. Oh, boy. Well, tactical foul. Tactical foul. It's all good. No problem. Tactical foul for Caicedo. No problem. Tactical foul. Tactical foul. He had to make the tackle. He had to make the tackle. Okay, no problem. <sighs> 72 minutes. Oh, good defensive work right there. Madrid, right? Corner for Newcastle. We need to be careful. We need to be careful on these set pieces, people. We struggle on the set pieces. Murphy's going to take the corner. Stay vigilant. Ball going to come into the box. Cleared. Ball's going to come in. Petrovic claimed that. Well done. Well done. 
73 minutes gone. Newcastle in possession on the right hand side. Cookerere, good interception. Well done. Good game from Cookerere today. Well done. Was that Enzo? Well done. Oh, Caicedo. That was a really good play from Enzo. Make sure you talk about that in the chat, yeah? Make sure you make sure you see that. Make sure you look at that. Make sure you understand that. Yeah, man. We need to make sure that Jackson doesn't get a yellow card. We really do. Because I'm serious. Like, he got a goal... And he tried to, he nearly got an assist for, for Sterling. He needs to be on the pitch for Burnley and United. Seriously. It's not a joke. You need to appreciate what this brother brings to the team. Because when we don't have him up front, it could be even even mad, even more mad. <laughs> Bro, Enzo is just slapped out of play. What's he doing? Bro, what the fuck are these guys doing? <laughs> Yo, man. Chill. Seventy-four minutes. Come on, needs if we, bro, if we drop this bag, fumble this bag again, man. Seriously, see out the win for once. Ball into the box. It's gone deep. Oh, I don't like where that's landing. <sighs> Cleared. Jackson, hold it up for us. Well done, Jackson. Go on. Come on, brother. Let them show them. Come on. Really good play. Gallagher. Mudrick. <gasps> Mudrick. Go on, finish, finish. Yes. Ah! Yes. The Ukrainian bolt. The Ukrainian bolt. He must start. He must. He must. He must. Hold that. Come on. Oh, my days. What a fucking goal. That's what I'm talking about. Immediate impact, man, since he's come on. He deserved to come on on 45. Heck, he even deserved to start the game. That's what I'm talking about. Taking your opportunity. If he doesn't start the next game, I'm actually gonna, now I'm actually going to cause cause ruckus, bruv. Yeah? I'm going to cause ruckus now. If he doesn't start the next game, I'm causing ruckus. Because we need to be having a... We need to be having a... You know, we need to be fair, man. We need to be fair. Brilliant. We need to be fair, bruv. Yeah? This brother's come on. And he's brought something to the team. Some spark, some energy. Great. Took it off Gallagher. Passed the player around the keeper. Yeah, a bit lucky. Fortunate on the, you know. But it's on target anyway. We don't give a shit, brother. It's his goal. What are you talking about? Come on. Yeah, man. <sighs> almost. He almost cleared it. He almost, but he didn't. He didn't. Well done. Composure. Rounded the keeper. Well done. Well done. Well done. <sighs> well done. That now has to be... That has to be that, guys. That has to be that. I'm not trying to see no foolishness. I'm not trying to see no drama. That has to be that, I'm afraid. Anything from this moment onwards needs to be controlled. Whether it's on and off the ball, both. It needs to be, you know, l low stress. I'm not trying to see no foolishness now. Last 12 minutes, see out the game. See out the game. Brilliant goal. Ball in. <sighs> Brilliant goal. Has, if he doesn't start against Leicester, bro, I swear. I swear this brother better be starting against Leicester. You have to start him. You have to. Sterling just dropped another stinker. That's enough now. Seventy-seven minutes gone. Caicedo, go on. Caicedo still going. Palmer, yes. Oh, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. <sighs> Come on, just. Come on, boys. Yeah. Come on, boys.
Facts. Facts. Even Anthony's not doing that, bro. <laughs> it's like he's fuming. <laughs> oh, we might live to fight another day, lads, bro. Just get through the day, man. I don't, I don't want to have to stress this week. Just let me live. Come on, Mudrick, man. Come on. Oh, Turkish. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Let us just enjoy our, 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 our little wins, man. Do you know what I mean? We don't get much around here. We we out here, you know, we just trying to we just trying to eat for today. Can we have our meal in peace? You seen you seen you seen you seen the brother starving all season. You can't just let us have our meal in peace. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to enjoy our meal just once. God damn. God damn. Just let us eat, please. We starving. Ain't eating all season. Just trying to stay alive. Do you know what I mean? We ain't we ain't trying to we ain't we ain't trying to be greedy. We ain't like you, man. You know what I mean? In Westminster, bruv. Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool, chilling. Yeah, money loaded. Yeah, bruv. Please just let us bruv. We're just struggling out here in, in the streets. You know what I'm saying? We're just here struggling. In Kennington, bruv. Just let us let us eat, please. Let us have our meal in peace. It's a meaningless match. 100 percent but it's my meaningless match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These brother like you spend a billion. Uh oh. I'm not even I'm not even I'm not even asked about the table or points. I, I just want to win a game, bruv. Just I just want to just feel what it like what it means to win again, bruv. Just one, just one win. Just give me one win, bruv. Please. Turkey's just fuming because he ain't got no one to cook today on the big six. That's what he's fuming. He wanted to cook. That's what it is. He was looking forward. The mum was licking his lips. You know what I'm saying? Over to you, Arsenal against Porto. We will be there. We will be there. <sighs> Please, don't ask me silly questions. Yeah? Don't ask me silly questions. You know the answer to that. Ball into the box. Headed away. Nine minutes. No goals conceded in this last nine minutes. Yeah? None. Not a single goal conceded in this last nine minutes. Be serious. Be very serious. Mudrik at the 10. Funnily enough, if you watched the preview, Iceman, I had Mudrik in the 10. I had Mudrik in the 10. Here's Gallagher. <sighs> Lewis Miley, boys, is a pain. The Sassy. It's Gallagher. Palmer again. Intercepted. Come on, just get to the end of the game. Ball in. Oh. Well done, Gusto. Good interception. Caicedo. Well done, Palmer. Caicedo. Come on, let's get a fourth. Caicedo. Gallagher. Gallagher's on the left. It's so weird. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. 
He's about to kick in the can. <laughs> I don't know why Gallagher's left wing. <laughs> that is where it is. Madrid's in the 10, isn't it? At this point, I don't even care, bro. I just want my three points. Here's De Sassi, now Petrovic. Here's Enzo, Gusto. <sighs> much better second half, man. A much well, much better when Madrid came on. Um, no, you're not allowed. The kindergarten Kai Club is closed. Turkish LDN. You're not allowed to praise him. You're not in the fan club. So you're locked out. As chief and commander of the kingdom, Kai, keys to the bimmer, Kai with the late winner club, you're not involved. So you're going to have to sit this one out. You're not allowed to celebrate his goals anymore. You're not allowed to celebrate. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> damn. Just get me to the end. Get me to the end. <sighs> I'm nervous. I just want I don't want it to be free two. I don't want free two. I just want free one. Job done. That's what I want. That's what I need. Yeah, Palmer's been on, on point today. On point. Man of the match for me. Man of the match, Cole Palmer. Clear. Clear and obvious man in a match. Not even close. Comfortable. Cassidy's come on. Makes sense. Defending the set pieces airily. Ball comes in. Headed away. Don't concede now. Come on, boys. We're almost there. We're almost there, boys. 3-1 is much better than 2. 3-2. Let's not make this more difficult than it needs to be. It's very important. Just keep the ball. This is... That's it. Just keep the ball. It's the sassy. Gusto. Petrovic. Clears. Okay. Got oh, go on, Madrid. Oh, unlucky, 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 unlucky. Who's down now? Gusto. Oh, boy. Madrid's been cooking since he came on, man. Cooking. Cooking since he came on. Gusto, Cassidy, Gusto, just keep it, No, there's no need, there's no need for the drama, just keep the ball, just keep them chasing. There's no time for foolishness. Trevor Chalaba. The sassy. The sassy. Well done. This is it. This is it. Keep the ball. This is it. Well done. Come on. 
Yeah, lovely. Bro. Oh. Ball in behind. Gusto, well done. Light work. <sighs> Gusto's cooking, yeah, yeah. It's him and Palmer. I said it half time, man. Him and Palmer are going to win us this game on that right hand side. They're the guys. They're the guys, man. Thankfully, then Mudrick came on at last. Started cooking as well. Jackson's been really good today. Very happy with him. Just got to see it out. Just no dumb shit. Shot. Oh, fuck. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. Jacob Murphy with an absolute screamer. And we don't even know how much injury time there is. Oh, my days. Man has just absolutely blammed it into the top corner. Kukurea stepped up. I hate it when he does that shit. Leaves space behind him. Classic Kukurea mistake stepping up and not getting the ball. How many times have we seen that? Leaves the gap. Got turned. Oh, my days. <sighs> Fuck. Of course, they had to just... They couldn't help themselves, bro. They really... These men couldn't help themselves. They had to do some tomfoolery. They had to do some tomfoolery. They couldn't help themselves. They couldn't help it, bruv. The bozo gene kicked in. They were like, yes, please. We we wouldn't mind causing some problems if you don't. Don't mind if I do. Bozo gene just kicked in, man. Couldn't just see it out like normal dons. Oh, great finish, though. I swear to God, if these men even think about it, if they even dare. <sighs> it's a great finish, but my God. Why can't we just defend properly? We're so shit defensively. There's a record going up. Worst defense is like 90, 90, something like that. I'll get the full stat for half time. It's mad. Here's Jackson. Sorry, not Jackson. Kaiseido. Bruv, please, guys, can you just stop fucking around for two seconds? We've got four minutes left. Is that so hard? Please don't ruin this day. Thank you, Petrovic. <sighs> Two and a half minutes left, guys.
just end the game, please. Oh, dear me. This is... It's always got to be like this. Always has to be like this. We can't just, just be a sensible bunch of boys. Have to do foolishness. Always foolishness. Every time. Right, two minutes left. Two minutes left. Probably clinging on for dear life. I don't think I'm, you're not taking that free quick. No. Keep the ball. Keep the football. Don't go anywhere. Keep it. There we go. Now, just keep the ball, guys. That's all you need to do. Sounds complex, but it shouldn't be. Hoof. Come on. Mudrick. Yes. Yeah. Ref, free kick. Thank you very much. One minute to go. Thank you very much, referee. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you kindly. Thank you dearly. We're almost home. We're almost home. Just keep the ball. Go and take it to the corner flag. And let's see if Mudrick really has been going, Jim. Let's just see now. Do you know what I'm saying? Is he stupid? This linesman is tapped. So how is that not our throw? Full time? Bro, fucking blow the whistle, man. Come on. Oh, nice. Carney. Carney Chikomeka getting some some minutes. Yeah, Gallagher. Urgh, come on. Petrovic, stay in your goal, please. No one's asking you to come out. Full time? Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you in about three minutes for the review. Don't go anywhere. You'll be redirected. It will be live. Good night.